If you are bearing fruit, you will stand up, meaning you have started bearing fruit. The fruit for woman. Fruit. The fruit for woman. I bear fruit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are about to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us begin to worship God in this place. Begin to tell Him thank you. Begin to wave His have presence. Take away the heaviness. Oh God. Shake yourself. Take away the heaviness. You are you faithful. The you are so heal all your prayer. There is no God you like you. The enemy to Don't keep you take your place. You God are so heal all your you are Don't run your prayer to you me. You are great. You Shake are yourself and begin to talk I you. bless you. My so we thank you this hour. Thank you for the hand that I bring. Thank you for the hand that I can wave. Thank you for the hand that I can see. Thank you for the life you gave me. Lord, that you are the mighty God you are. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We worship you. Oh my God. Seven verse five. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. Commit that way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to commit our ways to God. Commit that thing that you are trusting God to take your way that you will be a fruitful woman. Commit it to God. Commit this service to God in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to pray. My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. My Father, my Maker. My Father, my Maker. I commit my life to I you. I commit my life. I commit my life to you. I commit my life to I you. I commit this service to you. I commit this service let to you. Let this service be fruitful. Let this service be fruitful. And let my life be fruitful. And let my life be Begin fruitful. To pray. My father, father, you know, my father, 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 Jesus, I come my father, 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 my
You know, for who, who, who minister, you keep being a spirit. You don't, you not you not know the the, the, the the presence of God. Oh. By the way, Mary, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience I just brought to you. But this thing told me too now. Since this morning, I left the house and I went out there to look for our daily bread, so we can survive by eight. Hey, then come back with empty stomach and no food on the table again for me to eat. Tell me, why did I marry you? What is the reason I'm going to marry to you? But for God's sake in heaven, you got to understand that I'm your husband. It has been six good months now since we got married. Since good morning now, you have denied me the fruit of our relationship. Any that I try making an attempt to you, you push me away from you. Why are you doing this to me? And again, look at the house. Are you telling me this is what they teach you at the church? Since I left the house this morning, everything is upside down. The house is not clean. And not, not, not just only today, it are the things that you are made to be your habit. So that I'm bringing my friends, I'm so embarrassed by the kind of attitude from you towards me. What is your problem? Where what you want me to? What you want me to? I already came and left to Christ. You want me to come sit here, be doing work? Then I can't pay attention to reading my power. I can't pay attention to him. when God speak to me. I will listen to him. And look at him. Once he talking, you you talking say I should give, I should have sex with you. I expect that for you. I let work a shit that I ba 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 ba. You must give my body. Then you can't quench my spirit. My body is the temple of God, so I can't give it out just like that. Don't do it to me. I keep him my body for Jesus. And only Jesus I keep him my body for. And your woman. If you give your body to Jesus and your body is the temple of God, then why you are suffering me in the day? Why you got married to me? Why? All I know, I already gave my life to Christ. And I have to go out there and win so. So I even want to hear that crappy saying I'm going. Mary. Mary, huh. I don't even know the reason why I got married to this woman. He kala ba 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 she tale bo kasi tale se kata kabre kate kote si tale bo kete si tale bade kale bo shi tale bo kale bo shi ta ba kale si tala ba ba kata la ba ha ya kile bo shi ta 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 se kete 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 se the man I marry, man, he tell a tongue in my flesh. He won't see me pray. He won't see me go out there to even win so for Christ. Each time I go in, in, a, in a times of prayer or to even need him to pray, and he turn the man ready to tell me and I wash clothes and I cook for him and I even in fact I will go lay down, man. I'm gonna give my pressure body to him. What kind of man is this, my sister? The thing I get to tell you. That man, he's not a good man for you. That man, not a rightful man for you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, thank you. That's me. That man is not a good man. That man is not a good man for you, my sister. That's me. He's not a rightful man. He's demonic. Thank you, Jesus.
Ma, thank you for your advice. Oh, I already take it in. Jesus, I die for. Jesus, I live for. So I now even give him my ballet to him. Thank you, ma. I see you. Thank you. Baba la cachete, ba kale ko sita la baba. Oh, Holy Ghost, thank you today. Thank you for everything. Sweet so, yeah, hello. Oh well, Mary. Oh my God, how you doing? All right. And you, how was work? Mm, I'm doing great. How was the evangelisting today? Good oh. I gave God a praise. Oh uh, well, where was I bad today? And there's one I want to say to you. I'm enjoying where I go. Why is very, very sweet. I want to be at work every day of my life. Even on Sunday, after church, oh, I want to go to work because what work is offering me, to be honest to you, I can't let the work go right now. What? You can't let the work go? And me, you now join me to be in prayer or fasting and rest. At least think, oh Jesus, he calibo satara papa papa. My husband I join me now. You really again? You. you really again? Listen to me. When I tell you that work is sweet and I'm enjoying it, I'm not discussing that, but you're fasting in a prayer. You're helping me. And you're even boasting that I'm not asking you again for food and a lot of you. Listen to me. At my job, sir. I got my secretary that I've made herself vulnerable, available for me any time, any minute. As I'm speaking to you right now, my stomach is filled. Any time I want to touch her, she make herself vulnerable and available. What? You say what is available, vulnerable for what is any time, any hour? I beg you, yeah. I beg you, yeah. And I even saw this say, hey, T, come and start doing it on me. Because now I pray now. The just is a stupid woman. I beg you, yeah. I want to do it for you myself. Who will do it today? Let me tell you now. Let me tell you now. Who that secretary? Mother Mary. Let's see now. We share the thing. You are the house here. You fasting and praying. Since you don't want to cook, you don't want to clean out the house and you don't want to give your ballet to me. Because I don't know how we're born children tomorrow. I don't know. The clothes that on you here said that like you call your holy mirror clothes. My morning that I go out there to suffer for. That are you using the bad things with? Say, say, I can't touch you. The sister, who is my secretary, I'm going to say available for me to touch her. So please leave my share alone. Let me go. Let me, let me, let me go. I will not leave your share to the palace. Leave me. You came me today. You know you came me. Oh, would leave us today. To the oh, be one. Brothers, welcome. Your wife brought a complaint here to me the day before yesterday and I told her to inform you that I want to see you guys. I bless God, you people are here. So explain your side to me because I already know what she told me. Well, mother, there's nothing long to be explained about her and this woman. There are just three things I want to make emphasis on in my marriage. Mother, they have been seven months now. I am my wife. Since we got married. My woman refused me not to have anything to do with her in bed. Mother, how can we born children? When the Bible said we should be fruitful and multiply. My wife leave the house dirty every day and say she's going to church. My wife, I will take myself leave the house in the morning, go to work, leave morning for her to cook. When I come back home, no food to eat. But she says she praying, she fasting, she want to win so, she want to do this. Mother, tell me, how can I survive? You know, Mary, some of these marriages, 
it discourages other people from getting married. This is not what I advised you before. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 2 verse 24, he said, A man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and the two shall be one. Not twins, but one. So if you are behaving like this, you make it scripture not to be fulfilled. These are some of the reasons why many women float in church, going to prayer mother, going to pastor, pray for me, I want to get married. And then God will give you a husband that love and cherish you. And then you say your body only for Jesus. So let me ask you this question. If Jesus was a physical man, you are going to be leaving his house dirty. You are going to make it to starve with hunger. Let us try the disease from these things. Prayer is not all to a. If you pray, God will give you answer. Some men will bear it, but some men will go also. They will say, I will go to the woman that will be able to listen to me, the woman that will give me food. And when that man go out, and he found some of these girls talking to him nicely, washing her clothes, opening up themselves to him, you will lose that man. Mary, do you have a friend? Yes. I care a friend. A good one, a pretty friend. And she even advised me. She even said the man the way he behaved in him, that demon you see him. And I said, I believe it because to all can pray to get along. Which kind of friend is this that will just advise you without how have you discerned me? Have she seen your husband before? Let me advise you. I want you to go and wash your dirty clothes. I want you to go and reconsider this your decision. Call your husband. As I'm talking now, I think you should be searching yourself and know where you are going wrong. Go and put your marriage back together. Thank you. Thank you, counselor. I listen to you now. My husband will get the best of me. I will clean up my house. I will feed my husband on time. And I pray that he myself will be friendly in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. What a powerful drama. I think some of us need to take on the long gun now. I think you got to put the long gun down. And, and do some face straw, you know. And put yourself in order. After you pray, then you prepare yourself. Because if you keep being in the spirit, that man will go. If you don't have him yet, and you're still in the spirit, you will not come home. So you got to get out of the spirit and come in a physical. And get prepared. Do your nice hair. Do little makeup. Look sweet and sexy. For that your husband that is awaiting you. For that your husband that you already have. In Jesus name. Women. Women. We, 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 we looking up to fruitfulness. We expecting fruitfulness. So all these things are going to make you fruitful. I'm waiting because I want to hear more wedding and more babies coming after the wedding. Because we're going to multiply now in Jesus' name. We're going to call our man, Mark Kevin, to come and do our Bible voices. Put your hands together for Mark Kevin. name. I will be giving them bow voices. In Isaiah 9 says, unto us a child is born and unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. His knees shall be called wonderful counselor. The mighty God, the everlasting father and the prince of peace. In 2 Corinthians 10, 4, for the weapon of our warfare and our canna, 
when they are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. In 2 Timothy 3 15, study to show that set a proof unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, but rather dividing the world of truth. In Hebrew 11 says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. In Psalm 133, verse 1, How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. In Micah 7, verse 8, Rejoice not against me, my enemy. If I fall, I will arise again. And if I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. In Galatians 4, 16, And I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth. <laughs> in Jesus' name. In Psalm 125, verse 1, They that put their trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed by a battle forever. In 2 Chronicles 15, 3, Now for a long season, Israel has been without the true God, without teaching priests, and without law. In Matthew 24, 14, it says, This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, unto all kingdom as a witness. And then shall the end come. In Second Chronicles seven fourteen, lastly, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way, then our God will hear and forgive their sin and will heal their land. In Jesus' name. Are you just sitting down at that? Put your hands together. Most of us don't know scriptures. To see this woman standing here quoting scriptures, it got to be God. We got to learn. We learn it today. As she practice, you too can do the same. Because the scriptures help to guide you in your day-to-day -day activities. In Jesus' name. Right now, if you are here to testify, if there's any testifier among us, please make your way up there so that they can get your testimony because we need to hear all the good things that God has done for you. I want you to get set. We're going to call on um, call Grace to come and do our offering. Get set. What's the matter with the women? What's the matter with the women? Who says so? Who's everybody? Who are no women in the house here? Who oh, celebrate Jesus in this place? All right, it is time for our offering tour. And our first offering is our Thanksgiving offering. For here, we call it offering three times. The first one is the Thanksgiving offering. The second one is our kingdom building offering, and the third one is our general offering. So for our Thanksgiving offering, the scripture reference is John chapter 11, verse 41. John chapter 11, verse 41 is our scripture for the Thanksgiving. The Bible says, when Jesus went to the tomb of Lazarus, After telling Lazarus to come forth, the Bible says, he tell God, thank you. He said, Lord, I thank you because you have heard me. You see what he did? He tell God, thank you. Because he knew that God had done something for him and was going to do something for him. So I don't know what God has done for you and you have come to tell you thank you. Some people, you are coming or asking to hate you. Some of you, your rent was paid and it is something to tell God, thank you for. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Mark chapter 7, if we read from verse 6 to verse 7, the Bible says people were with Jesus and they were hungry. And then he told the people, how many bread you get there? They told him, he said, we have seven bread and we have few fishes. He told them, say, bring it. The Bible says he left for the, the, the bread up and nothing else he said. He said, Lord, I thank you. And when he thanked the Lord, the Bible said the bread became plenty. 
and the fish got plenty. And the people, there were 4,000. They ate the bread and the fish, and there was a leftover. The Bible says, Sherry basket leftover. You see what Thanksgiving can do? Thanksgiving brings multiplication. If you tell God, thank you, He always multiply that thing, that, that good thing that is in your hands. Not to waste time. I want you to stand up to your feet wherever you are. Lay for that Thanksgiving offering. Take it from your bag. Take it from your pile. Take it from your mobile account right now. Wherever you pour the lost money, take it from there as we pray. Our Lord and our God, we bless you so much. We thank you for this opportunity you have given us to be a blessing unto you. Thank you, Father, as your people will come and testify. Lord, with our thanksgiving offering, we pray that you will give them multiplication in every good thing. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. It's the same God who was there for you in the main now. It's the same God who is able to wipe your tears away. It's the same God who was there in times of lack and want. It's the same God, it's Jehovah, my great provider. Tell me why you giving up on God. Fruit for woman don't give up. Tell me why you giving up on Him. Tell me why you giving up on God. Oh no, Jesus on the way. Support offering. 
If you have your Bible that wants to go to Exodus 25, verse 1 and 2, and then we go to verse 8. Exodus 25, verse 1 and 2 reads, Say, And the Lord speak unto Moses, say, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering of every man that gave it, waiting there with his heart. Ye shall take my offering. And then we go to verse 8. It says, And then, and let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord was talking to Moses. He said, Tell the children of Israel to bring me offering. When you read further down from verse 3 downward, he was telling them to bring offering so that his kingdom can be built. So that they can build his sanctuary. When you read the verse 8, he said, let them bring it to me so that I will be able to dwell with them. You see, when you are in a position to always give so that they can build the house of God, they can build the kingdom of God, the presence of God will always abide with you. He said, tell them to bring it so that they can build me a dwelling place that I will dwell with them, which means that I will abide with them, that I will always be with them. So if you are always there, you say, me, I tell you, I give it, give it, basically, I tell you with it. He said, anyway, let me just try because I know we have to do it. You always there. When they say, Father, you try by all costs. He said, let them bring it. Let them bring it waiting it. Not for their face to be tired. Let them bring it waiting it. Those that will bring it, he said, you should take my offering from them. Let them build my horse and then I will abide with them. And when you read further down, our God is very choice. You see, the thing they call blessing is not in any location, but blessing lasts in your revelation. If you have a revelation that God gave you, you get the blessing. Am I talking to somebody here? So what I want you to do, I want you to get set, take all that kingdom support offering and purpose in your heart. Say, Lord, as I'm carrying this, my kingdom support offering, support my life. As I'm going to support your, off, your, your kingdom, support my family, support my business, support my children, be prophetic. As you are coming, be saying it. Hallelujah. Stand up to your feet wherever you are. Stand up with our kingdom support offering. Father, we thank you. We bless you for this time. Bless your people excessively in Jesus' name. Praise God. One day we shall overcome. One day we shall overcome. One day we shall overcome. In sickness we shall overcome. In trouble we shall overcome. Oh my Lord, one day we shall overcome. 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 No matter what lies to our mirror. Thank you.
General offering. If you have your Bible that wants to go to Luke, a very familiar scripture, Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Say, Give and it shall be given to you, unto you good measure, price down and shake it together, and run it over shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that you may, what it shall be measure to you again. Hallelujah. You know, when I when said it talking when I was reading the scripture, and then the Holy Spirit began to whisper to me, there are some people they let it in with teaspoon. Some people let it in with teaspoon. So the Lord is saying, the same measure you will give, that the same measure you will, if you give to him a teaspoon, when you wanted to give that teaspoon, he will use to give to you. Hallelujah. So when you are giving, the same way you should know you're not giving for Mary. He said, Yeah, go give for us. And nobody can give for that friend. And nobody can say they don't have to give. Everybody has to give, no matter how poor you are, how rich you are, you have something to give. He said, give, and it shall be given to you. Many people, when they give money, they expect money to walk come to them. When you give, they give it back to you. Sometimes it can be, the Lord save you from accident. If you give money, maybe you get cheer. Many Able to do just what he says he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. <laughs> Hey, God is able to do a seeding, abundant light, and what you. 
you can sing God in my hey. hey. So God is able to do rest of your voice. Just so what he says he will do. He's gonna fulfill. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Don't keep on Yes, he won't give up on you. Some let to testify in cash. So when testimony, after testimony, you still have your testimony, you want to do it in cash, you can work and drive. Clap for Jesus, amen. Can you do that better? Give the Lord a clap offering. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, neighbor. You are a fruitful woman. Refuse to be fruitless. Well, I want to say welcome to the time of testimony. We're about to hear from testifiers testifying the goodness of the good God of this commission. And I can just show you as you came there expecting you are going by receiving something double. If I hear your amen with thunder, we celebrate grace for you. Well, today back our second day of this national call with God's servant Apostle Chroma. And for this section, we have three persons that are going to be expressing the ableness of God. Celebrate them. Give heaven a clap offering. As you are doing that, God is locating you for your own testimony. What our testifiers, upon hearing your name, is essential. You'll be directed by our ushers to express your testimony. And please be to the point. My Felicia Keba, Kadiatu Kroma, Jenento Chelly. Celebrate our testifiers. Give Jesus a hand of the applause for them. Can you do that better? 
Now let's listen to our mother for encounter you have with Jesus. Your name, where you from, and what is your testimony? My people, you helped me for surrogate for me. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Pastor Kroma. Thank you, Lord. My testimony goes like this. After the conference, I fast for three days. I appointed three things in my life. The first is my son, Sarah Paul. Can drink too much. I say, God, as I go on that conference, when I reach the Holy Spirit, locate me, let the man of God see Sarah picture. And Professor Sarah told me, Lake up. I've been crying, praying. Luckily, I never enter on the ground. Sunday, I over radio. Oh God, thank you, my people. You help me, man. My people, you help me to celebrate. Sunday, the man of God delay on my son. The woman speak on my son and my son will be for nothing. And my daughter. So I don't have nothing to give to the God. My people, I tell God, thank you. I want that for my son. Praise the Lord. Clap for Jesus. Can you do that better? Give the Lord a clap offering. Hallelujah. Well, the reason for Mama's excitement, she said last year after the International Women in County Conference, she was believing God for three things. And to the glory of God and sin to the devil, she heard about the conference this year under the theme, The Fruitful Woman. She decided to take in the three days fast and prayer. The one of her petition before God was for God to interfere and deliver her son from the spirit of alcohol. This young man had been addicted to alcohol. But as she entered the three days of fast and prayer, this gone Sunday, before even coming for the meeting, this gone Sunday, God sent our father located her son right at the back, and he was prayed for. And that power that been responsible, that been sponsoring the addiction in this young man manifested. And God sent over him a water to drink. And the man of God said, you're going to use the bathroom to all this day. And he called his mother, that deposit came out of him. This man had been drinking for so many years. In one day encounter, that spirit left him. For those of you that came here with such brain desire, intercede for your children. As you hear her testimony, grace is now locating you to give you your own testimony. Clap for Jesus better than that. Tell to your neighbor, say, neighbor, your testimony is the next. Now let's listen to another powerful experience for our mother. Your name, where you from, and what is your testimony? My name is Fidisha Kabia. I'm here to testify the goodness of the prophet, our pastor, Ibrahim Kluma. I call him prophet because of him today and in God that I believe in and trust. I put my hope in and live in today. I stand here to testify today. I just want to tell God thank you today for my life. I just want to tell God thank you for what the prophet Afasto Ibrahim Kroma God do for my life. Clap for Jesus. But if you just said something that baffles me. You see her standing here today is actually the doing of God. And only Jesus can do such a thing. She had been down for so many months she could not work at all. But as God said, our father, a minister prayer on her, he said to the glory of God, she is not working for more than months, five months. She is not taking step up by herself. That's why she's standing here celebrating the grace of God in this house, telling Jesus, thank you for giving her strength in her life and giving her life again. Celebrate Jesus on Mount Phoenicia. Is that you do it? Clap for Jesus better than that. Let us listen to our next testifier quickly. Your name. Where are you from and what is your testimony? Praise the Lord. Praise hallelujah. I have come to testify the goodness of this commission. My testimony is all about last year women conference. Last year women conference. When daddy was passing around praying, the last day for the women conference. The 
before the last day for the we be conferring pastor ajayi king or in say which is so it's the church and my friend was Jefferson. I said Jefferson, help me to see the daddy. I really want to see the daddy. Jefferson made way to see him but it was not easy. Anytime we go there, play can be packed. I said me a hungry or I'm going home. My poor go to the play park. Now nah, nah, I mean Jefferson, Jefferson say, it's not only for you to see the daddy, just so or see in the middle. When he reached to our direction, I said, All right. Then he said, In army, man, I come and say, I'm bush for him. When he reached to our green crew, sir, I said, Daddy, he said, Yes. I said, Four years now, I got married, no child. He said, You sure? I said, Yes. He said, Stand up. I stood up. He said, Jefferson, get me a water, mineral water, just a one bottle of mineral water. When Jefferson run, Jefferson brought the water. He pour over the water. He said, "Open your mouth." I open my mouth. Wow! He pour the water inside. He pour the water inside. He pray for me. Now he home and stomach. He said, "It is well." I told God, I say, "Saint Daddy, say it is well. I will never and ever pray to you again for the food of the womb. If you don't give me child, I stay. But the prayer will be my last prayer for me as you." I left it after the women conference. The women conference was in March. Any of March. Any of March. Any of March. Any of March. And you are seated looking at that. Women of Liberia. Is that you celebrate testimony? Is that you celebrate the doing of the God of Apostle Koma? As you celebrate our testimony, that God is locating you. And give you your own portion of testimony. Somebody say, Lord, locate me for a testimony. Ah, any of March, I start feeling sick. I say, Ah, I'm going. I go by into the test. It will get too long. I say that infection. Since I got married, I am not see better. How can I say that infection? The only way I believe it too long, except I go to the hospital. When I reach to the hospital, I thought I did my test, everything. He said, Congratulations. I said, Congratulations for what? He said, You are three months pregnant. I had a heart, yes, run down from my heart. I said, God, thank you. The God of grace, man. thank you. And anything that God gave you, He can give you heart. I carried a pregnancy for one month or now more, healthy. I did it was saving, son, no operation. So I have come, I have come to tell you, oh my God, thank you. The God of this commission, the God of Apostle Abraham Groman, I have come to tell you, thank you. If you are here, you believe in God for the city, trust God before this conference comes to an end. You will see. Him. Look at that. Can you celebrate Jesus? That's the evidence in your hands. That's what the God of my Father can do. Can you celebrate Jesus? Four years of unfruitfulness. Listen to me, child of God. Every seed planted in your destiny that is not producing fruit, as I hear that your amen, that seed died today. I say it died today. Clap for Jesus wherever you are. In Jesus' name, what a mighty God we serve. A God that is full of fruitfulness. He has given us the ability to bring our fruit. And our fruit will show forth in Jesus' mighty name. We're going to call on our teacher, Sis Rachel Toma, for our teaching. Get set to hear from the woman of God. 
In Jesus' mighty name. If you are here in the presence of the Lord, I want you to put your hands together for Jesus. Put your beautiful hands together for Jesus. Because you know what? You look so beautiful in your t-shirts. Your t-shirts are very beautiful. The color, everything, they are all unique. So I want you to put your hands together for Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I want to salute the grace of our Father and all of the men of God in this place. And I also want to recognize you because you love everything to come to be part of their confession. And I want to say God will meet you at the point of your need in Jesus' mighty name. I am about to tell us about a special message. The women of this convention, they are desperate for a change. And as you are come, God is going to meet you at the appointed time. I want to talk on the kinds of women. I know we all are women. We look like a woman. We walk like a woman. We talk like a woman. We are structured like a woman. But there is something different about us. In Jesus' mighty name. And the thing that is different about us has divided us into three kinds of women. So I want us to look at Ruth. We will start reading from verse 3 and then we'll jump quickly to verse 14. So we'll read from verse 3 to 5. I got to do it so quick before our father come up. Verse 3, read chapter 1, verse 3. And Elimane, Naomi husband died, and she was left and her two sons. And they told them wives of the woman, the women of Moab, the name of the one was Oprah, and the name of the other Ruth. And they dwelt there about ten years. And Malon and Chelon died also. Both of them, the, the woman was left of her two sons and her husband. Verse 14. And they lifted up their voice and wept again. And Oprah kissed her mother-in-law. But Ruth cleave unto her. Ruth cleave unto her in Jesus' mighty name. You see, we the today women, we have been divided into these three kinds of women. We have the Naomi kind of a woman. We have the upper kind of a woman. And then we have the root, roof kind of a woman. And I believe these three women are in our midst today in Jesus' mighty name. So I'm about to talk about some character of them so that you can know which part of a woman you are from. If there is a need for the switch, you can do it today in Jesus' mighty name. I want us to first look at them. Naomi kind of a woman. The Naomi kind of a woman are those women, those women that are referred to as the former successful women. The former successful women. These are the women that goes with the slogan, it is over for me. The Naomi kind of a woman is this woman that was well to do. She reached the place of completion. Life was in her favor. Everything was unique for her. But out of, out of a sudden, life turned a different table in her life. Everything she ever had went away from her. The Naomi kind of a woman is a woman that says, it is over for me. I don't think I can become who I was before. The Naomi kind of a woman was the woman with this business. She was so good in business. She had everything. She was set. The Naomi kind of a woman, she was living happily. But this inflation came her way. So everything she had, she had to sell them all. She had to go from place to place because she needed a solution to her inflation. And then the, the inflation wiped away everything from her. The Naomi kind of a woman. The Naomi kind of a woman is this woman who was beautiful in marriage. Oh, she was the apple 
of her husband's eye. Her husband used to love her and adore her. But then a little guy came into her life and slashed her husband. The woman that used to be adored and loved by her husband is now the nightmare of her husband. And then he said to her, as he said to her, I cannot continue on the marriage. You know what? You have to go your way. I go my way. And then the Naomi woman said to herself, God, is this how you are going to allow me to go through this pain? Oh, I was married so happily. Why will you allow my marriage to go as a straight? The Naomi kind of a woman. She was a woman full of fruit. She was a woman that could, you could see the fruit in her tree. But when the birds and the bread came and ate the fruits from her tree, and every fruit in her tree got rotten and the drop, her tree became empty without a fruit. The Naomi kind not for women. She's a woman that lived in depression. She's a woman that lived in pain, tears, and sorrow. She had given up on life because when she calculated her destiny from where she came from to the current stage, she said to herself, will I make it to be like before? So she lived her life in tears, pains, and sorrow. This is why in Ruth chapter 1 verse 21, Naomi said to her people when she returned back home, call me not Naomi, call me Mara, because my life is filled with bitterness. I went forward, but God brought me back empty. The Naomi kind of a woman. In Jesus' mighty name, she is a woman without a hope. She is a woman without a thing about the future. She said to herself, if I could just turn the hands of time. But when she look at herself, there is no time in her favor. There is no age in her favor. There is no beauty in her favor. She said to herself, it is over for me. Then the next kind of woman we have is the Oprah kind of a woman. The Oprah kind of a woman that I refer to them as the almost successful women. Do you know why she is the almost successful women, woman? Because she gave up at the edge of her breakthrough. The Oprah kind of a woman, she started the journey, she started the race, but she turned her back. She said to herself, why is God not listening to me? Why is God not solving my problem? Do you know how long I have called on this God? Do you know how long I have fasted? Do you know how long I have prayed? Why does God have to do this to me? Is he on his own show? Is he not watching the pains I'm going through? Is he not seeing the situation, the challenge? Why will God turn his back to me? The opa, kind of a woman. She is a woman without a testimony. She doesn't have a success story because she gave up so quick. You are in our midst, you that Oprah woman. And the thing about it is that there are a lot of Oprah women in our generation. They gave us so easily at the edge of their breakthrough. The Oprah kind of a woman is that woman that says to herself, Oh God, my child, our coming are so well, so beautiful. He was my apple. He was the proud of my brother. Oh, but this child had taken different turn. He took a turn that bring disgrace and shame to me. Oh, I have praised to God. I have bring her picture. Oh, the man of God had laid his hands on the photo. But you didn't see the child keep on going back to bring shame to me. God, I'm tired of praying for this child. The Oprah kind of woman. So she gave up. She said to herself, if he will die, then so be it. At least my shame will be taken away from me. The Oprah kind of a woman. The Oprah kind of a woman is this woman that says to herself, I'm going to wait on God until my change comes because I know my body, my body is the temple of God. Oh yeah, she started it so well. The first year she waited, the second year, third year, and then the fourth year. And you know what? And then she hear the testimony of her mates testifying, showing off the ring. And then she said to herself, God, when? I have waited for so long, four years. When will be my testimony? If you cannot come to my aid, I got to take the other world round. So she turns and turns, and then the devil grabs it. He said, I'll seize an opportunity to work on her mind. So he go in her closet and prepare a month and mix with a remainder gold and make it to greater like gold. Not knowing it is a wolf in sheep clothing. The upper kind of a woman. 
And when he comes to her, he comes to come as if he's ready, as if he's, he's real. But you know why? She refused to receive it from the spirit because why she is desperate. After he has been achieving his aim, his objective, he starts to stay away, start backing off. And then she started to cry. God, why do you allow this to happen to me? All the years that I ever waited, why will you allow such a thing? Don't you see the cry of your children? God, you have forsaken me. No, you that Oprah woman. God has never forsaken you. It is your ego and your hardness that led you on the other way around. You build a wall around you, but you allow the wall to be broken. Women, we have to build the wall around us. Our world revealed our standard. It is our standard. And our standard reveal our value. And our value tells how worth we are. We are worth. Do not allow for anybody to break your world. Maintain your world. If it is possible to increase the courses of your world, then so be it. Because your world is the standard you will set. Women of God, I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, increase the courses of your world. I'm not hearing you, you're joking. Say, increase the courses of your world. Okay, then make it clear. You can't just say, increase the courses of your world to your sister when you're not check on a female, whether it infants. Because the thing here is, you can't tell a married woman to increase the courses of her world, right? When you do that, in a problem. And I probably when you look for me, my henna is that eh. You must care to the woman person, she will talk about it. Because me, my henna, you marry people business. I'm speaking to that single woman who is saying that I'm waiting for the Lord. Increase the courses of your world. Do you know why? You know why it's important to increase the courses of your world? Huh? You're not responding. Do you know why it is important to increase the courses of your world? Because when the courses of the woman wall is built up high up, which is her standard, it drives away fake men. It drives away liars. It drives away scammers. It drives away least men. They are afraid of wars. This is why they say that old school thing she let her do. No, it is not old school. Value is value. It doesn't matter the time. Maintain your wall. Your word is your standard. Your standard reveals your value. Your value reveals your work. The Oprah kind of a woman. When good men see a woman with a standard, he runs after it. Because it is standard that attracts a good man to you. They are not afraid of standard. Great men love standard. No matter how tough you become, the more they go. They press forward because they know that. While they're going forward, there is a treasure in their things. In Jesus' mighty name. So the Oprah kind of a woman. Don't give up upon yourself. You gotta be patient. Wait on the Lord time. Because he worked according to his timing. He said, in this season, I will perform my work. The Oprah kind of a woman. The Oprah kind of a woman is an impatient woman. She is afraid of the race. She is afraid of the journey. She started the journey, but she cannot end the journey. The Oprah kind of a woman. Our generation, women are weeping. Women are crying. Women are in tears. Their secret panel becomes their pillow. Because in the pillow, yes, the secret of every person, be a woman or man. So to avoid the tears, the sorrow, you have to take it easy. No matter your age, no matter your side, the thing about it is that there is nothing, nowhere in the Bible that says if you don't marry until you die, you will go to hell. I haven't seen it before. If they tell you so that your ways make it, you can't get married, say so be it. But you don't know me more than my God. The God that knows me, He knows why He's preserving me. In Jesus' mighty name, the upper kind of a woman, she started the race. But she gave up along the race. As we have come here as women for an impartation, we need to open up our spirit to receive from God. Forget about your friends. 
in the women prayer time I talk about in the midst of the crowd and I try to tell people how when you are in the midst of the crowd you got to be sensitive to a one true voice because there are a lot of words that will come side to distract you and when you are distracted you miss the mark so now you are in the midst of the crowd open up your spirit you're not going to joke Forget about the appear. We need the Lord good. We need the Lord classical. But the fact of the matter, there is an objective you came to achieve, right? And we should put it at the focus point of our purpose of being here. In Jesus' mighty name. Then we come to the nice kind of woman. The nice kind of woman is the rule kind of a woman. I refer to her as the successful woman. She is a successful woman. She is a fruitful woman. She is a woman that says to herself, no matter what, the challenges may be, the ups and downs, the tears and the sorrow, the peace, the economic status of my nation, my family author, my family background, no matter what. Do we have women that say to themselves, no matter what? Are we really saying no matter what? Because sometimes the challenges come so hard and they push us against our will. But we got to tell that devil no matter what. No matter what. For I know one day God is going to change my situation. I know that the Lord says in Psalm 64, 62 verse 8 that the eyes of the Lord is open to the ways of man. He is seeing everything that we are going through. God knows what you are going through. He's seeing it. But you know God is very slow. He's very slow. Because when he wants to bring it to pass, he will bring it to perfection. This is why he takes his time to make it okay. So you need not to rush God. All we have to do is to keep on pressing. Forward, forward, forward. Trusting in God. Trusting in God. Trust in God. God said we should trust him. We should depend on him. We should, we should have faith in him. This is why the roof kind of woman, she is so patient. She takes time. When she runs her decision, she runs it. She is not distracted. She is not double-minded. She is not afraid of the process because process is the stepping stone to the goals. As we have come, we know we want to be fruitful women. We know we want to achieve that world. The world is so beautiful, fruitful women. When you look at the banner, it's so attractive. That is a beautiful world. But why are the process? Are we ready to follow to be a fruitful woman? Ruth was a fruitful woman. In Jesus' mighty name. Looking at her background. Looking at where she came from. The woman from a, a country that is full of so much idolizing. Idolizing means people that worship the false God. They don't know about God. The entire thing started from Lot and his family. When he went into the pillar of salt, and then his two daughters left with him, and then they couldn't find a husband. So they decide to go and sleep with their father. And after they slept with their father, the first child became pregnant. And then she named her son Moab. This is where the Moabites came from. They are breath. They are incest. I mean, they are family of that insect background. They can sleep with their brothers. They sleep with their sister without conscience. So looking at that terrible background Ruth came from, Ruth said to herself, I can't remain there. You got to stay in your family. Say, I can't remain there. Say to yourself, I can't remain there. Say to yourself, I can't remain there. And I want to say to you, you will not remain there. As you are come for that women convention, you are going to be a fruitful woman. A fruitful woman that will change your generation. A fruitful woman that will change your family. A fruitful woman that will make impact. A fruitful woman that will set the legacy. You will not die empty. You will not die unfulfilled. You will not die for the in Jesus' mighty name. The roof kind of woman. In Jesus' mighty name, the roof kind of a woman. People of God, women of God, I want to encourage you. 
For a fruit to be seen in you, you have to plant the fruit. Ruth plant the fruit of sacrifice. She planted the fruit of sacrifice by abandoning everything, her people, her culture, her goals, to follow Naomi. The thing here, the entire story of who should have been the story of Naomi. But Naomi knew her God, but she didn't know God. That who had to come give her the revelation of the God she was serving. This is why the switch in the realm of the spirit took place because Ruth understand the God of Naomi was not a playful God. So she had to abandon everything and pay attention to that God. She said to Naomi, entreat me not from following thee. Wherever thy God I go, thy people shall be my people and thy God shall be my God. The roof kind of a woman. Who are you following? Who is your follower? Be it on the social media. Be it in your community. Be it at your job site. Be it at your business center. Who is your follower? In Jesus' mighty name. So as we are come here today, let us open our heart. We should not go back empty. May God impart us. May we be the fruitful woman of our generation. And I know the fruitful woman will come from Wolomi Church because we are ready to take the mantle of authority to say, Thou says the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Is that how you clap for that kind of a message that you just heard? Is that how you celebrate God? Put your hands together for Jesus. I want the fruitful women to shout, say, Thank you, Jesus. I'm shocked. Yes. This message was very powerful. It, it touched everybody. I was really touched. The Naomi kind of woman. The Ruth kind of woman. If you didn't learn anything, learn this one. If you want to bring fruit, you got to be the Ruth kind of woman. You got to be wise. You got to make some decision that will pee you. Ruth knew that Naomi didn't have anything that she could go with her. But she took the risk. She took the challenge. She said, I trust the God that Naomi said. And I know if I go with Naomi, my life will not remain the same. I know that everything that I had is gone away. I know my husband is dead. I know there is no finance to take care of myself. I know if I go, maybe if I go with Naomi, I will suffer. There will be no food to eat. There will be no clothes to wear. Perhaps if I go with her, I wouldn't find nobody to love me and marry me. Because I was married to Naomi's son. But she disregarded all of that. And she took on the challenge. She said, Naomi, I will go with you. Wherever you go, I will go. Where you sleep, I will sleep. Whatever you eat, I will eat. Your God will be my God. She was so humble. How many of us are humble? We're so proud. We're so proud to the extent. We can't even help our in-laws. You got this ego on your shoulder. You got to pull it down if you want to be a fruitful woman. There are some people you look down on. Your success is coming from them. So men will come your way. You look down. You, 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 you degrade them. You say, where will this one carry me? How far will I go with this one? But inside of man, there is something placed inside of him for you. To bring out the best inside of you. So if you want to be fruitful, you got to stop looking down on people. Ruth made look down on Ruth on their mother-in-law. 
She said, what does this woman have to offer me? She got nothing to offer me. She don't have money. She don't have son. She don't even have sleeping place. She's going back home as a, a stranger again. She left her hometown ever since. Why would I take this challenge? At times, God gave you people for you to care for them. For you to love them in time of pain. To encourage them. To stand by them. Naomi, Ruth stood by her mother-in-law. She stood. In times of difficulties, she was there when everybody left her. Naomi went through pain. And she went through struggle. But at the end of the day, Ruth came out victorious. You will come out victorious. I want you to sit back, fasten your belt, as our father will mom the puppy. In Jesus' name, I want you to get set because our sister is here to bless us with our own Liberian music. Put your hands together as we welcome the woman of God. In Jesus' name. Out of my belly shall flow river. Of the tribe of Judah, he's able to do what no man can do. My God is able to do what no man can do. He's able to do what no man can do. My God is able to do what no man can do. He has taken away my peace, he has taken away my sorrow, he has sent everything around for me.
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. I know this is touching. So we got to call back our woman to come and taste this song and play the music for all again until our father get arrived. I am the line of the tribe of Judah. He is able to do what no man can do. My God is able to do what no man can do. He is able to do what no man can do. My God is able to do what no man can do. He has taken away my peace. He has taken away my sorrow. He has seen everything around for me.
the beat. can do. Women, were you blessed? If you have given up, given up, brother, just know that your God is able. He's not going to let you down. Uh, when you read the book of Matthew 26, in Jesus' name, women, are women. All right. When you read the book of Matthew chapter 26, Verse 39. Jesus was about to go through crucifixion. He was about to be crucified. And Jesus never want that, wanted that to happen because of the pain that he was about to go through. Are you listening to me or are you talking? Are you listening to me? Are you listening to what I'm about to tell you? We are discussing fruitfulness. In order for you to bring food, you got to pass through pain. In Jesus' name. You got to pass through difficulties. 
You will pass through challenges. And when I come on say what plan, you got to struggle for it. You got to fight for it. You got to rise up. You got to muscle up and know that I know what I want will not come easy. It will come through challenges. So you got to be strong. And the Bible says in the book of Genesis, uh, Matthew chapter 26, verse 39, Jesus went to pray. He said, Father, if this is a will, let the cup pass over me. Be be before Jesus brought fruit, we are the fruit. In Jesus' name, salvation is the fruit that Jesus came to die for. He came to reunite you and myself back with his father. This is why he was sent. In order to fulfill that, he had to pass through pain. He said, Father, this is your will. Let this cup pass over me. Nevertheless, if it is your will, let it be done. We go through challenges. At times, it's the word of God that we go through it. There is nothing good that will come easy if you don't rise up on your feet to fight. When you see you are barren, barren in, barrenness means emptiness. When you are empty and nothing working, deadness, everything in your life is dead. You got to rise up. You got to forget the pain that you will go through. You got to forget the challenges that you will go through as an individual. You got to forget it. And press on. Go through it. That challenges that you are going through, if it's to bring fruit, go through that challenges. That pain that you're going through right now, if you are going through that pain, for a good cause, go through it. Jesus went through it for a good cause. And at the end, here we are today. We are reunited back with our Father. The veil is torn. You have access to the throne of grace. You have access to God without you depending on man to say, Father, I came for you to pray for me. The door was open to you. That you will stay and intercede. You got to be strong. In Jesus' name. Nobody wants to go through challenges. Nobody wants to go through pain. Nobody wants to go through suffering. But if they suffer suffering for good cause, then go through it. Go through it. If you are suffering to send your children to school, to school rather, sell. The business will not come easy. So there you will go, you will sell, nobody will come. But keep pushing. Because you know that as a fruitful woman, your children got to be educated. They have to eat. They have to wear clothes. They have to go to school. So you have to do that business. Don't give up in doing that business. Because this is what the devil wants you to do to give up. Challenges are there to make you to give up. Struggle comes for you to give up. But if you say no to that, that devil that wants you to give up, you will show fruit. Jesus went through the pain. And today we are here. What are you going through? And because of that situation, you are giving up. What is that trial? That temptation? That struggle that you're going through that causing you to give up? Don't you give up. Because at the end of the day, you will have something to show. The drama here, the woman was praying, praying, praying. All day she was in the spirit. But when she came out of the spirit, her marriage was fruitful. You got to do something. The last one I'm leaving with you, stay strong. Muster the courage. Go through it. Hannah went through it. She went through Margaret. But she prayed and God brought her out. Maybe you don't need prayer to come from that situation that you're going through. Maybe you need financial assistance. And how do you get it? You got to work for it. You either sell or work. So do something to bring you out of your financial challenges. In Jesus' name, don't give up. Stay strong. Keep your focus. As a fruitful woman, you got to be courageous. Don't get discouraged so easily. If you give up soon, if you get discouraged, you will not bring that fruit that God is expecting out of you. When you read Genesis chapter 1, verse 22, God said, be fruitful and multiply. God expects you to bring fruit. 
He expects you to multiply, to dominate, to take charge, to have dominion in any area you find yourself. And if you are here and you are finding it difficult to dominate, if you are finding it difficult to take charge, you got to hope and pray. You got to trust God and know that the God that you serve will give you that energy. It's already inside of you. When he said, God bless them, he said, be fruitful and multiply. The multiplication there is for you to dominate, to bring increase, to be productive. The blessing is the ability and the strength that God has given to you. So look for that strength inside of you. What you can do with ease that will bring money. Like I was saying in the prayer the other day, I was teaching, I said, not everybody will go to office to sustain themselves. Not everybody will go do business to sustain themselves. Not everybody will do some things. There are things that is a sound to you that you can do if you are a farmer and you know that farming will bring you results. That farming will produce something good for you. You got to do that farming and start doing other things. Where your strength is, is where you work. You work within your strength. Esther may do something. Esther may be a farmer. I may not be a farmer. So if I say I'm going to make farm, I will take 12 years. Because why? I don't have that ability to make farm. But Esther have the ability to make farm. So what God has placed inside of you that is your strength is what you should work in if you want to bring fruit. In Jesus' mighty name, God has given us the ability, the strength to bring fruit. So stay strong. Keep the faith. Don't you get discouraged. God did not bring us here for us to be dry and empty. Everywhere you turn, you see emptiness. You do business, no profit. You go to work, you work, no result. But I pray for you today that as we have come to Graceland, may the God of our Father bring out that fruit in you. May God strengthen you through the ability that you have that you will show fruit to your generation in Jesus' mighty name. Clap for Jesus, amen. Do that. Do that better. Keep clapping for him. I'd like you to sit down. I'd like to feed brothers quick. The Bible says, one thing of a desire of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell. One thing, I like you to pay attention. One thing of a desire. Ask yourself, call your name. Call your name. Call your name again. Say, what is your desire? Call your name again. Say, what is your desire? Call your name again. Say, what is your desire? One thing have I desire that I will seek after, that I may do well in the house of the Lord all the days. So, God who made heaven and earth, the one we know, to be the root of all creation, doesn't go to just where people need him or else he would have been everywhere but God goes to where he is expected so I don't know what your desire is but we'll take this prayer right in your seat just for one second say Lord again shout it out say Lord give me the desire of my heart say it again say Lord Give me the desire of my heart. Clap your hands and turn into prayers. Talk to him.
Give me the desire of my heart. Turn my expectation into reality. Pray that prayer that God will change it around. That's the God we say. In Jesus' name. Take the last one. Say, my father, my father. Turn the expectation of my enemies into frustration. Turn the expectation of my enemies into frustration. Clap your hands and pray the prayers. Turn the, the expectation of my enemies into frustration. Turn the expectation of my enemies into frustration. Frustrate the expectation of my enemies. In Jesus' name. 16 to the 32 and me spoke to the earth and the earth swallowed the people the earth the ground in African culture people use nature elements of nature to destroy people in African culture the earth, that is the dust from the ground, is a weapon in diabolism. Leaves are all weapons. Every substance of nature, they are weapon. Only the child of God does not understand the importance of those weapons. The earth opens its mouth. How can the earth be referenced to the character of of a human being, the earth opens its mouth, the wind obey, 
how can I refer the wind to the attitude of a human being? The wind obey. The wind is non-living thing. According to the laws of the human race, the earth are non-living thing. But God, to God, everything made is alive. Everything made is alive. Jesus said to the fig tree, go down. It went down. It yes. Everything made is allowed. We take this prayer this morning. Say, Father. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Say, Father. Say, as I clap my hands and pray. Whoever want me to go down, that I've done a bit for me, let the earth open and swallow them. Clap that to your ugly hands and pray that prayer. Let the earth open and swallow them. Anyone that want me to go down, let the earth open and swallow them. Let the earth open and swallow them. Pray that prayer again. Let the earth open and swallow them. 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 Holy Ghost! Mm -mm. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! This final prayer. Say every dragon in my family that swallow people labor every marine power in my father's house that frustrating people effort every dragon spirit swallowing people effort frustrating effort the energy oh God of Graceland rise up and kill that dragon for me Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Rise up and clear that dragon for me. Dragon of frustrating people here for. Shaka barato, leka bakata libra sota, la krapa katala, mako barado shata, le bagado lata, rabayada yada yada, every dragon. Frustrating people effort in my family. Lord, rise up and kill that dragon. Pray it again, pray it again, pray it again. Say, my father, father, every power that destroy what people work for. Yes. Say it again. Say, every power that destroy what people work for. You see, when you won't get serious to pray that prayer, what do you do? You do family background investigation. You begin to look at people. You look at siblings. It seems that some of them have never handled anything before. They have handled it before, but they lost it. Now, what you lost, or what you are losing also too, it has been a constant occurrence in your family. But we pray the prayer. Say, every power in my family that destroy what people were for, say, go down in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Go down. In the name of Jesus. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Let the power go down. Let the power go down. Go down in the name of Jesus. Go
go down, 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 fire, fire, fire. Do that again, do that again, and again, and again, and again. So the, the different level is to define changing clothes. I think you know what it means to stay in one clothes. You are referred to as maybe a mad person. Are you here? So to remain in one position, one state, one level, a key value. People who stay in one level two are their life. Value die. Are you hear what I'm saying? Are you ready now to ask God? Say my father, father. Say the God of this house. The God of Graceland. The God of Apostle Croman, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm tired with this level, the sinful level, the disgraceful level, the painful level, the Got to change your level. to really see school. Let me say this to you. Everybody seated here was predestined. The son who got predestined. In other words, you were not born just to lotto. You were born for a reason. Predestined. Romans 8, I want to believe in verse, uh, um, let's say verse 32, 33, 34. God said, whom he called, he predestined. So everybody called on the face of the earth is predestined. Predestined means you came here on a purpose. In spite of whatever going on around you, a purpose. Are you here now? You are predestined for something. You pray this prayer. Say, Lord. Mm -mm. Say, Lord. Whatever I am destined for. Let it happen to me. Oh, let it happen to me. If I were destined to be lifted, destined to be high, destined to travel, de oh, yeah, 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 yeah. let it happen to me. Let it happen to me. Ask God, let it happen to me. Let it happen to me. The thing I was destined for, let it happen to me. Let it happen to me. Shaka parado sata ye kaparaga yada makok sharada ya rebaya da yada yada ya. In Jesus name. Look at me. If you are not aware, be conscious of it before you have any experience. Listen to me. You see, there is something we call 
following spirit is a spirit a sign in other words is a sign not just to be posted in your house that thing is a sign to follow you you are thinking it's behind you but no some of us that thing goes ahead of us how it goes ahead of us whenever we are going to a place that meant good for us before they see you they see the thing first they call it following spirit it disfigured your originality it's an act of making you simple <laughs> it denounces you before you get there before you reach there they're going ahead of you it's a sound in many families many families they follow people everywhere they go some people see you some people say hi to you they speak for you it's called following spirit it uses three things as an identity they want your face let me tell you spirituality if you are not sensitive the enemy can change your appearance just before arrival just in a, just in a second a period can change when you leave from that place the person I remember that you were to come there they forget you came there and what the, you told you to give or what they said I'm going to give to you they're going to give it to you why? because so we are dealing with spirit that follow people in lives are you hear what I'm saying? if you are here I'll find a brother and I'll say father every spirit falling after me again say father every spirit going after me say as I clap my hands and pray as I clap my hands and pray the covenant I gave you right to follow me that covenant break today a break today a break today clap down your hands and pray that prayer again and again and again and again in Jesus name okay open the gate there come towards the altar I love you, Shataya Kabaya. Hey, that boy ya devil. This is my season of fingers. I am hey lost in your love. You mercy and do it forever. Jehovah, I don't know. Let's go. You know they play me. You know they play me. You do the bless me. Your love gon' be the same. But you know they play me. You know they play me.
Seats, please. Thirty-one. Look at something. Proverbs chapter thirty-one. Proverbs thirty-one. Proverbs thirty-one. We we'll start with verse ten. The Bible says, "Who can find a virtuous woman?" It's a question. For her price is far above. Rubies, a virtuous woman, and she's costly. She's very costly, a virtuous woman. In other words, she's expensive. I would briefly like you to take up your time and give me a little bit of your attention because we are here to build our tomorrow in our today. Our tomorrow only constructed in our today. Listen to me. Some things are going to be hard, they're going to be tough. But don't get angry with me because they are for our learning. As we go through the process of learning and applying, then we're not far from becoming what God has called us to be or what He has called us to do. So we are looking at this question, verse 29. Proverbs 31, verse 29, then to 30, 29 to 30, 31, 29 to 30. He said, many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellent, or thou excellent them all. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou has excellent them all. Many daughters have done well, or have done so many things, or so many great things. He said, but you exceed all of them. Fear what is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feared the Lord, 
shall be praise. Verse 31, the last verse. Gave her of her fruit, of her hands, and let her own work praise her in the gate. Gave the fruit of her hands. Let her works. What of you here? You want to be a good Bible student? In your entire meeting, mark that scripture. Keep it. Keep looking at it. Keep pounding over it on a daily basis. Keep asking yourself a question. Let, let translate so we can see faster, please. To amplify. Give her the product of her hands and let her own work praise her in the gate or in the, in the city. Give her the things that she herself has made. Remember her because of all that she has done. Everyone should speak well about her. <laughs> Give her everything she deserves. Festons her life with praises. Praise her for the many fine things she does. These good deeds of her shall bring her honor and recognition from people of importance. I'd like you to save that one. It shall bring her honor and recognition from people that are important. So life, if you don't want to be left over, you get connected to who? People that are important. Every day I come to the church, I challenge you, you laugh at me. If I tell you, you laugh at me. I say, don't follow broke men. Anybody you know on skin, wrap it. The time bad man passed was your own girl. At the time suffering together was present. But now, no. It, let me tell you one legal access of a woman. What are a man like it or you don't like it? A man is to work. Woman eat. Shut up there. <laughs> man is to work, then you eat. Some of you are working. Just to host a man. You won't go. He said, I'll buy you brief. I will buy you on the way. I will buy you trust. You will not go. <laughs> Men are actually to work. You see, when you are in a, when you are, <laughs> follow me, you are happy. When you are in a relationship or a marriage or whatever it is that, and you are buying spaghetti, you are buying lulus, there is one decorating the house for the man. And some of you, how you looking? There is one facing the room, facing the house. He said, you won't leave you. You will face a room, you will face a house, you will face the one, you will go buy my tray, you bring it, you buy this one, you bring it, you buy this one, you bring it. Then when they finish flogging you, then you can stay from the pulpit. Yeah, let will be my God. You hello. If I catch you in a habit, I'll fire you in the open field. Right? Heavy fight. I told you before. I said, in life, do what? Always make sure. The Bible says, her good work, do what? Her good work, connect her. To who? To important people. Can you give that for us one more time again? The, the, the ranging of the scripture you give us first. No. 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 Okay, right there. Right there. He said, praise her for the many things, for the many fun things she has done. I mean, she does. These good deeds of her shall bring her honor and recognition. Your good deeds brings you honor and recognition. Before who? The Bible said, before important people. People that are important. You see, to escape family, yake, yake. Is to connect yourself to people that are important. You are never added a value. You see, that is the reason why in life, one of the things that make you relevant is to know two or three important people. And once God opened the doors of privilege, that you get connected to two or three persons that are important to society, keep that door open. By avoiding annoyment, do everything possible 
because your generation is so funny forget my expression we live in the most useless society society today we live in is very useless very careless rule no distinction a society where people lost conscience people do things anyhow they go anyway no more conscious again to maintain your conscience in this society that we're constantly living in right now you got to be a virtuous woman a virtuous woman is not just a woman with beauty quality no she fear God she fear God where the fear of God is established there are minimization of evil the evil in our time tells you there is no fear for God not at all so what are we looking at this morning we are looking at developing the character of a fruitful woman developing the character of a fruitful ladies and gentlemen everybody was born with the head born with the nose born with stomach born with mouth born with leg if you are blessed by God but nobody was born with character nobody in this life were born with character character is developed character can be developed it's not a gift and you see more people rely on what more people rely on what they discover that's their natural ability you see relying on your natural ability that does not esteem you or esteem you relevant in society but if you have an additional ability that means an ability that came through by sacrifice you put yourself on a constraint you denounce certain attitude just to become this best person most people only want the thing that they born with to show forth that's what it depends on but in other words in your generation as soon as we call character development to develop character is to go through the process of circumcisions you can go through circumcisions if the souls can do circumcisions if the son of bush can do circumcisions then why is it most of us your level that you belong is waiting for your character because at a certain stage of life you are not allowed to see because there is a certain character you haven't developed one of the most important things we should look at in our conference is understanding character development what is character development or what is character character is mental and moral qualities having a mental and moral qualities that was mental for a woman eh? having a sound and immoral qualities that distinguish a person something that separates you from other people something that makes you different the reason why some people will keep talking you down is because you refuse to adapt their attitude you refuse to adapt their behavior we live in a world that is changing every day people are adapting to the system of the white man the african and forget their culture today everything that was private yesterday secret yesterday is exposed every time i say i grieve with myself i wonder for little children for us we're already inside now we're old but what becoming the next generation are coming when everything is exposed nothing again in our days and our time is in healing there is nothing called private part anymore. Nothing called private part. The most expensive and careful thing people run for was private part. But in our days, no private part. Women are naked. All on big mirrors. But it's, it, it will not take you as a woman to distinguish yourself by building up an unchangeable character, unbreakable character. If it causes you to lose friends because of the quality you met in, then no problem. I told you the other day, if you want to stand for truth or stand for value, your friends will be few. People with plenty of friends are people who life exists in nonsense. When your life exists in nonsense, your friends become plenty. What do about nonsense? Outing, flexing, having nice time, pleasure, beach. Pool, club you get many friends you get so many friends but your friends trap when your decision become unbroken 
and your seriousness become consistent. Anyone that's serious and consistent in life for the betterment of their life is determined by discovering the kind of family they're from. Because you never get serious until you get the family brief history. Character of development. I can say this to you that are arts in life. It happened to other people. You're not deprived from happening to you. No. God only happened to you the same. Just as anything, you see? But any level people get to, it's not about God giving you the level. It's about having the capacity to manage the level. You see, management is most difficult than getting through, than asset. People see access difficult. Access is not difficult. God will give you access to relevant people. He give you access to blessing. He take you to places. But to maintain those places, you need a self-distinct character. Character building is destiny security. The security for destiny is character. Ladies and gentlemen, at the time we get to a point in our life, we should not empower witchcraft. Witchcraft are too limited. Let me say this to you. Moral qualities is powerful than witchcraft manipulation. It is only the black man that is conscious about various people. The white man does not exist in that consciousness. The white men are innovative. The white men are developmental. But the African men always have the belief that they won't do nothing because certain power holding them. Don't get me wrong. I'm a spiritual person. Those things happen. But until we should look at it very carefully to correct errors. Because Satan operates on your errors. He's strong by your errors. Nothing strengthens him than your ignorance. The Bible says, For you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So, where does the freedom lie? The key to your freedom is established in the truth. The truth is the truth, and the truth is nothing but the truth. One of the scarce things in our generation now is character. You can find beautiful women, you can find shape for women. You can find educated women. You can find diplomatic women. You can find experienced women. You can find gifted women. You can find talented women. But to find character women now. I'm just preaching to you because of the women conference. But both male and female. To find character is difficult. What is character? Character, it could simply be described as that's that, that quality. That quality your parents develop you with. That quality place inside of you. The quality of when you see people that is older than you stand onto the past. When you see people older than you, when they talk to you, don't talk to them back. When you see people who are older than you, their presence should make you close your phone. You see a young at the age of 33, pressing in front of 85. Right in front. No fear. People don't have to have positions or title in the rules of God before you draw fear for them. No, not at all. Not at all. So one thing that is very difficult not to see in these days is character. Many people have lost a lot of opportunity. Lost a lot of people. Not because your life does not attract people. Your life attracts people. But your character make you lose people. It's very powerful to understand the place of a character in the life of a person. You will see a malice keeper, but very prayerful. But she's a good malice carrier. But when she praying, she's called a fruitful woman. The place is on fire. Jealous the pigeon. Abusing her fellow woman for main business, taking phone, sending texts, threatening your friend woman for main business, but very prayerful. <laughs> I told you in the church the other day that God does not bless your heart. To men, your heart is relevant, but to God, your intention is powerful. He sees your intention before your action. 
the kind of God we say. People can pretend their action, but they can't pretend their intention. No. I can have a different intention and different actions towards my intention. But the truth here is, once my actions towards my intentions are different, men may see the action, but God sees the intention. Are you here? So we got people, are you here? Are you here this morning? We got people who just keep going about, going about, going about, lottery, lottery. So at times, you take retreat in light and talk to yourself. That we are having talk now to one another. You talk to yourself. Child of God, listen to me. Some of us here, we are demonized. We are being manipulated. Our family have seen that we are the greater that exists in the family. Some of us are being checked behind. Demonic manipulations are real. But ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you for free, when character is not developed, for you to achieve destiny is very difficult. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. One day, there was a great boxer. Sorry for that. I believe so. But we, we, we are leaders, so we visit all the world and do further study. A very great boxer. He was so arrogant. So arrogant to the stand where he will talk until he talk everybody. He had no regard for no one. Until one of the day, they call him Daniel Wadon. They call him da- I think Daniel Wadon. One of the day, he went out to, to, to do a face, face fight. So, with, with a guy called Thousand Fraud. When he went out to do a face fight, he looked at him. He said, I will beat you and beat your Jesus. Mm-hmm. That is how arrogant people get to. So he lost. Then he saw that he was gifted in his talent. His gift has developed another ego inside of him to the extent where nothing seems to be regarded. None at all. Many people today are suffering in this life. They are not suffering because God wanted to suffer. They are suffering just because there is common thing that is not put in place. Very common. Something very common. A character is something you develop. If you can develop the character, determine the kind of dream you have. Any dream, any vision, any goal you have is fulfilled on the platform of a major character. If I say I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Say it again. Say I hear you. What is character? Character is your personality. Your personality. Character is your nature. Character is what you are referred to. In other words, people refer to you by your character. That is what Jesus said, by your fruit, we shall know you. In other words, by your character, we shall know your personality, your qualities. In other words, child of God, how people refer to you, that which you call your character. Your character simply means your behavior. Your behavior, that which you develop is how you behave. Character is a combination of qualities in someone or something that make them different. A combination of qualities. Different kinds of qualities. A combination of qualities that make them different. That's why you see in our generation today, what makes you a woman is not just your natural development. Your natural development means the one that God gives to you. That means to say, God made you as a woman. No. You can't just depend on God making you as a woman. But what do you add to yourself as a woman? After discovering that you are a woman, you are a female, to advance in our modern society, to be fated in our society today, you must be able to understand that there is a quality that is combined that makes you different from other women. What is greatness? Who are, who are great people? Great people are people who have combines of qualities that other people refuse to develop. That's the only thing that makes them great. They take different kinds of rates. They add different kinds of potential. They add up their beauty. Are you here? Mm-mm-mm. Are you here? If you are here, say I hear you. So, character. We all we are looking at character development. For example, character development 
is the <coughs> observable change. So we get character and we get character development. There's a word called character development in literature. Character development in literature, it says, is an observable change. The character make as the narrative progress or as the story continue, the change. In other words, the Potan the potango and the atango. The two things in literature that will do a character. Now, from the beginning of the story, you find out that the child started a life as an orphan. No man, no pa. But he took advantage of that situation. And he was afforded opportunity. And then he was to go to school. First, he used to be a person of no man and pa. You could stay in a sad condition. But in, in literature, character development, as the narrative continues, the story progress, the change takes place gradually. You can't establish in one concept of change all the days of your life. The only thing that makes your friends to be shocked when they see you is that certain actions ever you change. You can be classmates, schoolmates, yardmates, community mates, job mates, work mates. When you're a schoolmate, you're drunk. When you're a work mate, you have all kinds of fun time. But now you are cheering mother. You get almost eight children to take care of. How will you live that kind of life now and go back? No. Narrate changes gradually as the story progress. The story simply means as your life continues, change occurs. If you are here, say I hear you. <laughs> say again, say I hear you. So, if people still see you to be the same woman after three years, four years, five years, no change. No change. Who are you the same person after eight years, seven years? No change. Many years ago, as I'm speaking to you now, that is not how I used to preach. I used to preach very odd, raw, ugly. No sense of compositions. No sense of dramatic whatever no sense of english measure everything will have to scatter the verb will give for the adverb the adverb will give a conjunction everybody will give for one another when you find your friend i ate but as i continue in the process what happened i play with microphone every day change begin to occur and a gradual process now at that point you see we have a library mentality in liberia yeah people expectations of you to be lifted the highest it should be three years to remain lifted for you to be lifted for maybe 14 years 10 years 12 years in labyrinth tennessee it's not allowed they will do everything to pull you down everything because they're only lifting they didn't last so for you to come in ever since and you stay a brand it's an issue i apostle abraham chroma you can only kill me with your mom. In your Nemo, a person not die, you stay alive, or you can't kill my brain. No, no, my brain changes every time. All the time. My brain is not concerned about your feeling. On the market, it depends. There are some of you, you're in the market a woman. Right? They will tell you, oh, hey, you saw that sister three years ago? She was beautiful. What did you ugly? Somebody just walked out of your no, life. No, no, no. Somebody just walked out of your life. And they went. Since the person was out of your life, you start getting old. And let me say, let me, let me, let me educate some of you. Some of you, no matter that deformed like that, we have a kind of spirit. You see, family wise, family pull you outside, right? Relationship pull you outside. Let's start with the family. When a family pull you outside, it's a means of assisting to put you and empower you to chase after your dream. If you are in the house of your mother, that your grandpa been many years. You are sleeping sound. You are relaxing. Your small sister, they're not causing you. They say nothing to you. And yeah, what about this? That you are dying. But if your little sister keeps telling you words that you want to hear, a male woman, that's the only thing that pushes you to go and start doing something. And I can say this to you when it comes to the issues of a, of a relationship, when a relationship, that you say, you know why? I'm not going to do it again. Instead of you going to pack up yourself together, you go back, you start using yourself at home. 
what thing will call her may have to come back to you? From the day the quarrel happened, the confession happened, you put the mat down. Since you put the mat down, you are calling everyone, oh, you me, oh, you hear it? You leave me, oh. This is life. Life is on speed. Children are not afforded to participate. You are an adult. Behave like an adult. Be mentally strong. You see, what they did, they say, what, what? When they lose job. When they were working, they are okay. The company were using you because you were excellent. Maybe they could call you back. But since you left the job, you just deform. You can't tear back again. You can't wash your hair. You can't do nothing. Then you sit down and trusting God will call me back. Who will call you back? You see people, men leave them. They are, they are getting skinny. A woman who ate the air palm. Two men go to start getting skinny. 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 If the men see you passing on the road, how will you call again? You not get dry, ugly. Very ugly, Apostle Coleman. Very ugly. You are getting ugly to the stand where that when you, you are even look at. Ah. Whenever in life you fall from the track or from the steps, I told you before, I'm telling you again, the highest, if you invest in marriage, the highest, Tidimon, if you are there doing kajo kajo relationship, dating, you are only doing dating, you're not married. Then to recover, it's taking you one year. Oh, just somebody who not even know your man or your pa. You sit down, you are grieving in your heart. What are you giving? I'm very really so laying. I'm very really so laying. Oh. I'm very really so laying. I'm very really so laying. It won't work. It won't work. That thing you so like. Somebody finished taking it from you. How will you get it back? Mola, what are you here? She here? Then Mola won't see you. Mola, let me picture you. Let him come back, my friend. Go to the bar. He will come back. Let him come back. Let him come back. Let him come back. No. If you possess the quality, the quality that you had, and the person marry you, don't lose it. As soon as you lost that quality you had, when the person met you, they go. And when they go, go back for the same quality. If I just say, I hear you. <laughs> I'm not going to say, I Oh, God. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, How are the people there? Help them. <laughs> they need you. Anybody, you listen to me. I will baptize you in a swamp. If you not hear me, I carry you to the swamp. I will baptize you seven times. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, your son, your daughter, all our name. Seven baptism. It will bring change for you. If I just say, I hear you. <laughs> One more time I can say, I hear you, sir. Are you here? So, don't forget now, as I said to you earlier, a philosopher said, they call him Leo II. Leo II said once, he said, watch your thoughts. Watch your thoughts. They become your words. He said, watch your words. They become your action. He said, watch your action. They become your habit. He said, watch your habits. They become your character. He said, watch your character. You become your destiny. So, you watch your thoughts. Because your thoughts become your word. As a man thinker, so you talk. What comes in your mind? What comes in your heart? So you develop a character that makes you to be fruitful. If you want to produce something in our generation, there must be a quality you possess as a fruitful woman. Fruitful woman possess a particular quality. If you are here, say, I hear you. Amen. One more time, I can say, I hear you. Amen. Are you here? If you are here, say, Lord, say, help me. Again, say, help me. Again, say, help me. Every woman or women on the sound of my voice have it at the back of your mind that being fruitful quality recommended that a person can possess in our generation one be a godly woman godly godly 
The Bible says, bodily exercise profit little. What a bodily exercise. Time spent in prioritizing your body. The Bible says in Proverbs 31, I believe verse 29 or 30, he said, beauty is vain. But the fear of the Lord, beauty is deceitful. Fear what is deceitful and beauty is vain. It brings a person to a place of deception. You know, we live in a generation where at times you sit by yourself and you look at your face, you start laughing. Then you tattoo your face, baby face. Baby face. After this month, December, look at your face again, you see. If you don't start rubbing chalk to Harley, baby face. Baby. The entitlement of your life. The entitlement of your future. Ladies and gentlemen, have it at the back of your mind that godliness is one of the characteristics to fruitfulness. Lead, hear me? When I say godliness, or a godly woman, or be a godly person, understand that every outcome of life is based on spirituality. It's based on spirituality. You got to have the act of godliness inside of you. You develop that godliness passion. That godliness attitude as a person. For example, number one, Hannah was a godly woman that believed God. She has godly habits. To be a godly woman, you must develop a godly habit. You can be a godly woman but clean. I'm a Christian. I'm a godly woman. No. A godly woman has this a godly habit. And Hannah was a godly woman. In spite of all the challenges you go through, she lived a life of godliness. God did not be... <laughs> oh my God. God didn't really show Hannah love. Mm -mm. But Hannah showed God love. God didn't really endorse Hannah. When she was married, one of the disgraceful women of Hannah, when she got married, when she was single, nothing. But as soon as she got married, the Lord shut her womb. First Samuel chapter 1, we study verse 6. The Bible says, And her adversary provoked her. Her adversary provoked her. For the Lord makes sure to her free because the Lord has shut up her womb. So Hannah was being provoked. So in spite of being provoked, that's part of the provocation, have it at the back of your mind. That Hannah loved God. People mock her. She has so many mockeries in her relationship. Her mate was her biggest name. But a woman of godliness. Now listen to me. A godly woman, tough time does not push her action against God. No matter how tough the time goes or the time gets, she don't change her God because of tough time. They think too much. God is slow. God delayed my time. How do I faster? How to do so? No. Because she was a woman who just had called a godly woman. It doesn't mean that you bring your mattre, your living room set at the church and come and stay. No. Godly woman is an act, it's an habit. You got to develop the habit inside of you to make you the best woman God wants you to be. If you are yes, I hear you. No matter what happens to us, the strength and effort we put in, we are nothing until the good God empower us to be something. The Bible says, remember the Lord your God, for it is he that gave thee the power to make wealth. So the power to make wealth is God giving. Hannah, if you study your Bible, 1 Samuel 1, 7, despite what happens to her, she went up to the house of God so God the woman habits. Number one, she is godly zealous. Zealous for the house of God. One of the habits is that she's not too much or every day into club. When you're looking for her, if you actually want to find her, when you ask her community dweller, they will tell you, say, go to the church. 
she going to church. That's how people know about her. She going to church. Go and check in the church. Oh, she was here. She was outside the morning. But I think she going to church. Because everybody know that going to church is your habit. Now listen to me. So I want us to read Coming to church is referenced to as what? The Bible says, verse 7, verse 7. And as she did, and as he did so, year by year, when she went up to the house of God, even though Pinana provoked Hannah, God shut her womb, but that does not deprive her from going to the house of God. As God shut her womb, yet she went up into the house of God. What does that mean? That is saying that a lot of us who uses the allegations or accusations of people against your Christian status that determine your stopping from going to church. In other words, the more Pinana provoked Hannah, the more Hannah went out to the house of God. And there are people like that, a generation where kids stand the tough of time, where people say, oh, every day we get here in our ears. When we ask for you, you're in church, you're in church. What God have done for you? But when I was reading this passage, I got to know that Pinana was broke, provoking her, God was depriving her, and yet she had love for God's house. She hasn't had a child yet, but she always went up into the house of God. So the habit of a godly woman is always not in the times of problems, not in times of trouble. We live in the very time where society has lost value. God should be the only option. To be valuable in our society now, you must have a golden nature because people have lost conscience. When you're out there, what happened to you? You exist in dead conscience. People don't care anymore. Everywhere is loose. Everywhere is careless. Anybody can dare respect anybody. Anybody can say anything to anybody. Society is draining down gradually. Moral value is disappearing. Moral quality is going away. We are in a generation where today to find respect, they take fear of God inside of you. So Hannah was a woman who went up to the house of God. Despite God, they didn't show her the kind of love she expected. If you are here, say I hear you. I'm not going to here. Number two, a godly woman. Hannah could take more pressure for God. She could take more pressure for God. What have God done for you? What have the Lord done for you? I told you, I guess somewhere, if I take you there, in less than two days, everything about you will be over. Oh, but every day we get here, I go to church, I go to church. Since you've been going to church, you've been beyond this God. What have you done for you? Leave this God. Is it not real? We are in a generation where, when you open social media, people can say the God of the Bible is not real. If he's real, why is that going to war? The God of the Bible is there. That Jesus is not true. It's all kinds of things. All kinds of funny things that are killing the passion and the appetite, the zeal for God in our generation. One thing that keeps you going and that you should never lose in your days is the zeal for God. David said the zeal for your house. You know, I grew up with a lot of young men around me. Sometimes I look at them and I pray for them in my closets because many of them have lost God's zeal. Many of them. Many of them, you don't see no zeal for God anymore. No zeal for God. I who am I who met God? I never gave myself day off. God has blessed me. I've seen life in so many ways. But today I go lay down and relax. And say, oh, that man, that man, he will do it. No. No. Every day, my passion for God grows gradually. Not passion for offering. For God. For God. For God. God is the center. God is the priority. But we live in a generation where everybody wants to showcase their talent. A talented generation. Can you serve God when there is no money? Can you serve God when there is no audience? Can you serve God when your members are also small small children? That means you expecting no offering from them. Zeal for God. A godly woman is a woman who takes more pressure. People are saying it. We are coming in the days where if you are not careful, you will denounce Jesus. You will denounce your faith. Because the ungodly are very wise. They get worse. The heathens are very wise. 
they get sayings that are some arguments saying you hear you will almost come to a conclusion you say yes no God for Chula too because as you open everywhere media internet they are everywhere antichrist are everywhere so if you are not Christian Christ you won't survive in our generation to survive you must be a God person develop the habit take God the pressure no matter who more put on you stand for God Hannah stood for God she went up into the house of God and yet when she come back and the maid will say every day I can't hear in my ear but yet where your child you don't get no child you don't get no child but hold the church 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 the Bible says she went up into the house of God the true woman who had godly conscience I know women that go to God in times of need a woman who love God they are Anna's Anna's dwell into the temple she deprived herself from the pressure of life she stayed all day within a sanctuary she was a sanctuary cleaner she could have enjoyed the pleasure the other women the Facebook the 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 the, the, the tip talk the apps on the social media but yet in her time those people deprived themselves the self people and they were blessing to people but even a very abusive generation a generation that lost moral value moral qualities moral potential and does not value conscious anymore no conscious anymore so now people just lose their brain come on public scene yesterday when they invited the public scene they are asking for what you learn and people forget to understand that the apps is a public scene before you get on the apps I don't, I don't, I, you see Liberians Liberians forget themselves Facebook made them celebrity they become celebrity by, by, by social media people can do anything nowadays anything if it even happening around the world that is not the culture of a typical Liberian man I will sit and say everything has changed. You know how many people sitting here? You know how many people sitting here get the capacity to change things around? That like if you can stay your ground, your enemy can change their thought and change their mind. If you are here, say I hear you. Character development. A woman who, no matter what, she stood the test of time for God. And a bare foot at the end of the day. Hannah could take more pressure. Be Nana talking to her, provoking her. Oh, every day. Oh, I can't hear in my ear. Oh, Pastor Kroma. Oh, I go to the chair. Oh, I get mantle. Oh, I get water. What can I do for you? Nana, you the first person. You might not give me first time at 1 6. I beg you. First time at 1 6. 1 6. Translate it for me. Translate it for me. Hannah revive, provoke her bitterly to irritate and embarrass her because the Lord had left her childless to irritate to embarrass to provoke Pinana was not kind to Hannah she said things that would cause Hannah to feel sad she did this because God had not given so just think about you God has not given you yet a testimony people will tell you things to make you miserable harsh things terrible things but yeah, do you know why? She kept going up to the house of God. A godly woman is a fruitful woman. And listen to me. Pinana had many children, but five were unrobber. Three were Kush take up. Hannah only had one. A prophet to Israel. The impact today is still being read. If God is the source of your fruitfulness, no matter what happened, you become fruitful. Let God be the source of your fruitfulness. Listen to me. Let me tell you something. Achievement is not riches. No. Everybody can. And, and, let me say this way. Anybody can get rich. That's a reward. war. Anybody. Anybody. If you can the source of some people riches today. One, they kill people. They sacrifice people. They buck up people. Today the latest is BM me people. People BM for common. 
And the new job now these days is that most young people don't want to work again. Facebook is their BM means. And some of you see there, you are included. You sit on Facebook. Maybe you don't know your BM. Your BM. You lie. You inbox people. You lie. And they save you money, you eat. You looking at nice in your experience. But if you are cooking people thinking of smartness, they're not smart that you are a criminal. Very professional criminal. That's the kind of life people choose to live these days. Be him. Say bad lie. And when you lie, it won't profit you. Who are they lie money not carry you? Nothing. It's still made less scatter. All the children hand on hand. That's why you see, you don't get provoked by people's success. Because you don't know the source of their success. Richer is no success. Getting plenty of money. Aunt Robert can get money. BM can get money. People blackmail people that get money. So many ways. So just because somebody get money, they get compound. It doesn't mean they have achieved everything. No. But that's the world we're living in today. A world that tell you that people are better than you. A world that tell you all your friends they're out there, they are shiny, you don't look good. What about this? And listen to me. If you care yourself up, if you care yourself up, you will sleep. Many people today who are looking for followers, they are the one now the follower following. Why? They disappear from the market. No more to be seen anymore. Live your life in peace. Your culture is a peaceful place. Don't put your life in hurry. Hurry, hurry. Relax yourself. Cool your mental tension. Check break. Stop being crooked. Just to get money. Just to get this. Just to eat. Just to stuff. No. No. Nothing you take from people on a criminal note benefit you. Some of you, as I speak to you, when you depart this world, some of us, when we live in the world, we are leaving people in tears. Living, you left so many people in tears. I'm not saying crying because you die, but you hate them. You harshly affected them. You afflicted them. I know the day. People are left in tears. So many ways. <laughs> Golly, have it. A godly woman is a woman who develops a godly habit. <laughs> she goes out to the house of God. She takes pressure for God. A godly woman is a fasting woman. She gets... Let me say this to you so you can get it clear. It's important. Alright? Now, the first thing here is, one of her habits she develops is that of consistency in the house of God. Oh. Please. Most, of, most often I sit here. I said it had to do. It's a race. I sit here and I make reference to my mother. I make reference to my mother so that those of you who are privileged to get children, one day, you don't know what will happen. Remember Solomon making reference to Bathsheba and David was no more. Solomon was telling people about Bathsheba, the condition. Bathsheba was a godly, godly mother. Very godly woman. In fact, she was Solomon's advisor in the days of Solomon being king. There was nothing that Solomon did with what Bathsheba concerned. She was the one that celebrated the dispute between Solomon and his brothers among David's children. And every reference Solomon gave was referencing to his mother. One day, let your child say, hmm, Anytime I call my man, she in church. Let him know that the man he get that church man, the sister he get that church sister. Whatever this that, but there are people as I speak to you. As soon the children send their information, is that looking for mercy, man? As long mama is on me, oh, I come to do it for you. I will send it for you. One of these days, you will go and get to a level. You had a child, let them know. What mom, mom going to church? The only place you can be here. A base. Your labor in God is not in vain. None at all. 
She mocked her, mocked her, mocked her. You know why? She kept going. She kept going. She kept going. She didn't go with the mockery and complain. Oh, Father, you dare to mocking me? She always went. When she go to the house of God, she go peaceful mind. When she get there, she said, Lord. So one of these days, she went there. She said, Lord, let's crack a deal. She crack a deal. She make a vow. And the Lord gave her a child. And these days, when Pinana wake up in the morning, <laughs> I believe she saw Hannah vomiting. She had a family one, family two, family three. She noticed her in three months, four months, five months. One day she was sure she saw Hannah's stomach growing. Suddenly for her, Hannah gave birth to a boy. Hannah had a child. But this is my point here in the Bible. Hannah's child, just one single child Hannah had. That's what everything. Just one today. It's called the book of, <laughs> the book of Samuel. Hannah produced book of Samuel from generation to generation. Anybody may reference to Samuel, you reference to Hannah. You can't say Samuel if you don't say Hannah. No, no, no. You're supposed to say Ikana. But the character, the major character in the narrative of the story was not Ikana, was Hannah. She played the role, she stood the time. Some of you, you don't want to stand no days. You don't stand no time. When you broke, it's just like your funeral, your funeral day. When you go out of money, your left gone out of you. You stand no time. You have no patience. And life is seasonal. When you come to Christ, you got to relax. You don't come to Christ and expect hurry, 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 no. Hurry, 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 no. People are still in search for a woman. I'm not talking about in search of woman, how you call it, uh, 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 to marry and keep up for decoration. I'm talking about in search of a woman to affect, to be an affection to generation. So that her Sorani is aware of her habit. That her habit, one of her bad habits, she can't finish from church. She's in God's presence all the time. And it's fruitful. You won't believe this story. In 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 24. Amen, I beg you please. 1 Samuel 124. 124. When someone was eating properly food. 24, okay. And when she has warm him she took him up with her with three bucklers and one ephron of flour and a bottle of wine and brought him onto the house of the so the purpose of someone getting i mean hannah getting somewhere was not to have evidence to show to her enemies many of you are seated every day you create enemy for yourself every day you create enemy for yourself lord bless me so my enemy can see Lord bless me so they can know that I serve the living God. Lord bless me so they know that I'm a prophet. If you call Elijah now, eh? That statement Elijah made years ago, many, many years ago. If I be a man of God, if you call Elijah in our generation now, he gave me that statement again. He gave me that statement again. So, what is your proof that you are a man of God? People feel that they get people the old that they get things to show to them, so they are in hurry. They are in hurry, and you see, be in hurry to live a fake life. You need energy to maintain it. I tell you already. At the end of the day, a lapai on you down. That's a pay. The hater. That's a pay. Even the teacher. Man. I wish you that I'm gonna get it. Oh my god, oh. I don't see you. Oh my god, oh. Ellen got it. Get. I don't need a get. It's here, no, you need. Get. But the good news here is the most. What am I saying there? <laughs> thank you, thank you there, thank you there. So all the things I appreciate today, all my effort I made, the only thing you learn is a <laughs> I just joking. Clap for Jesus, amen. Are you sure? Clap for Jesus one more time. Do that better. Are you here? If I just say I hear you, tell your neighbor. Say learn to stand tough time. Again, say that or say be a product of tough time. Say that he said, be a brother of tough time. Yeah. Do 
Because people now are giving you words. If you can only make because some of you are at the verge of what Satan is giving up, then you want to give up. He almost gave up. Then at the time you retreating. As I most point, I mean that's the point most people get to, where the devil have threatened them, beat them. He's running away now. Then they back off from God. Are you here this morning? If you are here, say I hear you. Again, say I hear you. So the habit, as I said to you earlier, she's a woman of fast. She's a woman that stands more pressure. She's a woman that have a going to church habit. A cause of God habit. At the end of the day, she had a foot. And that foot she had. Hanum food today. Many people stay eat. When I went to the city of David in Bethlehem. And then they took us to the, the, the altar um, summer bay. When the Philistine rose against the children of Israel, the altar summer bay unto God. It was that altar that brought the liberation of the children of Israel in the days of Samuel. When we got to that altar, and that was where Samuel offered the bull offering, Samuel offered um, offerings to God, and God turned against the Philistine. At that time, there was no warrior, there was no king, there was no fighter, there was no army, there was only a prophet. Samuel anointed David. David became a very great man. He anointed Saul. Saul became a very great man. Who was Samuel's mother? Hannah. Hannah. Hannah was Samuel's mother. But don't about being fruitful. Or a fruitful. A godly woman is a fruitful woman. And listen, gentlemen, don't forget. In spite of everything, a lot of us may have children and the expertise of them they didn't materialize. It doesn't really matter. It's not yet over. None at all. It's not yet over at all. If the foundation is destroyed, Ain't ready to fall down. Some destroyed foundation is crack. So you can break the crack and resettle it. In other words, if your foundation of your children is not built on God, you can renew the covenant. Call the person. She fasted. She went to all the God. She ate nothing. None at all. She ate nothing. You got to have a mindset that can bring you to the place. Have it at the back of your mind. That a fruitful woman that must have the character of godliness, that woman produced the best of her kind in her generation. Number two, learn to be <laughs> an independent and determined woman. An independent and determined woman. The character of a fruitful woman it's a woman that have an independent spirit. And she have a very determined spirit. Independent spirit. One thing that perpetrating laziness in our generation today is the other way people get people to depend on. One thing that makes you do not do nothing for yourself when you count people as your dependence. But when you open your eyes and put it in your mind, your, your brother is a finance minister but his ministerial position is not for you. Hey money, in the day you get to a point to notice that your brother horse is not your house. Your sister horseman and not your horseman. Your sister car and not your car. But some of you when you say that I'm my sister car. To get your own car. I'm telling you that's Africa. That's one of the biggest problems in Africa. People in their brother's house, in their sister's house, and they are there so relaxed. They don't go to bed with grief. They go to bed with sound passion. They sleep sound. They are asking for the AC remote. I thought they said they get AC. What a remote. Instead of waking up with conscious fire crack in the morning, they will go around 12. Then they proud the telephone and call. Where, where are you? I'm spending time to my sister's place. When you will come back, no, I get one more year. We audacity. Dependence. That's the biggest problem today. The bigger problem than most of you in Africa. And you forget to understand when you get one person from your family that have opportunity to travel. Child of God, they are traveling. Does not give you right to live a careless life. 
Most people live an unserious life because they are family in America. Very unserious life. They don't contribute nothing. They're not determined. They don't work. When they send it one fifth, they don't maximize it. Every month, they wait for fifty dollars. And they're not saying full money, man. They're not saying full money. I did my man to send my children school fee. How does that sound? Now, for the two year old motor get out. In the mind, in America, she almost eighty six, and she waiting for the man to send. Dependence, have an independent spirit. An independent spirit gave you access to surviving. You survive easily. But if you have a dependent spirit, you will die. No, not curse. I'm telling you. Because we live in a time where you should understand when people betray you. It is where letting down is not new. It's an old fashioned to be let down. Oh, I was depending on you for my school fee, but you just let me down. Oh, I was depending on you for my rent, but you just let me down. My friend, when you pay six months, when you are enjoying the six months, the three months, start packing your rent. But instead of start packing your rent in the three months, you start packing clothes, packing clothes, packing clothes. When you turn around, you see all what is in your house. From down the hill to up the street, they follow your house. When the last month finish, to the last month, then you turn to Yekia Koluba regular statement. You have become a very embarrassment. Very embarrassing. People now will not sleep because of you. They won't rest because of you. Let me tell you one thing. I know myself. Now, now, before, then, way back, I can be ready checking to see what have, have I done nothing. I don't have nobody in this life that I have ever. I can remember say I gave you pressure for something. You calling you, oh, you know, my car. Uh, uh, no. No. Because they kind of all bring you with her. When we were small, small at the age of 10, 15 years old, we never knew money. At the age of 20 years old, we never knew money. So you wouldn't get time for playing. You won't play. You know money. Or well, this generation, 12 years old. If you think you are here, you are a woman. I saw something for internet. I saw 10 year old girl get bravo. 10 at the age of 10, though. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> making progress. <laughs> We're making progress. <laughs> We're making. <laughs> hey, God. God, you delay too much. Why do we get here? Yeah, Jesus coming, Jesus coming. Who really? Who really? Oh? Because morality is no more. Everything they have to scatter. And people take it, they are proud of it, and they're sharing it. A 10 years old just found out to give breath soundly. She's good, the baby is good. No grief, no, 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 no issue, no nothing. Then when you talk, people say, Oh, because of poverty. They tell you, say your continent or your country is the only poor country in the world. No. Even in Great America, you want to go hardship there. Many years ago, when you know how the America experience or America talk or America school, you feel that when you, when you say America, you feel that where they can plant the money and they plant the tree. When you enter there, you just are picking. When I go to America, I will just be picking the money. People work. They work hard. Learn to be an independent person. Cheer. Independent and determined because independent makes you determined. When you are dependent, you are weak. When you are independent, you are determined. Because you know that nobody pushing you, you're pushing yourself. Go first, you second. But many of you, as, as you are speaking now, go first, lay my boss second in my life. <laughs> I want to thank God first for God, then second. You see your problem? But if like go first, you second, you'll be serious. Very serious. I'm telling you. No excuse for failure and laziness. No excuse, none at all. 
la biwa ha la biwa ha la biwa ha la biwa ha la 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 biwa na people know how to mango mango they get the money oh they mango the way to get the money so they hold it are you are you looking for it so if you have certain created ability you know what la biwa ha na ha But as I speak, now the fact percent of people are waiting for people to give it to them. Waiting for people to give it to them. Waiting. I can lost. You know, as a pastor, right? I got so many people are pastor outside the country. Fire, whatever there's that. A lot of them say, Pastor, I bet we are all. Anytime there's a problem for the church, let us know to pick my phone and call them. It's very hard. I got few people I know. If there's an issue. I reach out to you. Okay, yeah, we're doing something now. They say, oh, anything you can do, you do it. But to rather even to even take that number and call, it's shameful. Very, very shameful. Build a church on crookedness. Collecting crooked money. Taking money from even old man. Giving false prophecy. La la. Seeing false vision. What about this, that? I was under pressure for vision eight days ago. If I tell you the individual under pressure for you, believe. I could look at a relationship and, and talk lies. Apostle, please we beg you because one of two things happened, and God used my vessel and I spoke, it happened and saw it. And they came back for something, reference or something. I said, mm, I'm not a medicine man. I'm a man of God, I'm not a medicine man. Big, big character. Character of a high esteem. Come here, if you come here, I'm a kind of person, I let news. I like to be cool. I like to be fake. I be showing that, forcing my way that you're working. Anyway, I show. Now, somebody here, come to my picture. The fire apostle. The man of God of our time. What are you carry? Everybody just want to show that you're working for them. Thank God for Facebook because all Facebook has no popularity for you. Nobody will know you. They close Facebook down. Facebook closed, I think a week ago. So about the last week. Facebook closed. Whoa! Stop that. Stop making. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> because some of you will tell Facebook for you, nobody will know you. That the truth is, nobody will know you. Nobody will know you. Why? Because it has afforded us opportunity. People use it, they make money. People sell their products. People get money. Or you, you share a picture. All your achievement on Facebook are picture. Picture, picture. People that are getting one million from there. The first boy you posting here, the Nigerian, they eat million from it every week. Every month, every week. Or you, you get it for picture. Nothing will do for you. Forcing yourself to make sure that something working. And you know nothing working. You take a picture, you post it, but you eat it. You take a picture, you post it, the clothes you wear to post the picture, now you get it. You take a picture, you post it. The place you take the picture, now you pay the place. You take a picture, you post it. The horse you throw the picture in, now your horse. You take a picture, you post it. The room you throw the picture in, now you're a small sister, get a room. People not under pressure at all. No shame. No pressure. No shame. Not at all. It's not working. It's not working. Conscious task yourself. It's not working. Then you start drawing your plans. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to get you inspired for the future. Because life doesn't wait for anybody. If you're going to make it, you have those things to learn. Have an independent spirit. Independent spirit. Independent spirit. People that depend on men, my man that depend on men. I asked my preaching yesterday. <laughs> I, I, I really want to see her. She, she didn't preach again the evening. I think she will pray or preach or something like that. She will pray. <laughs> she, she said, "We God take that food in there for your head." I say, "Amen." <laughs> oh, I enjoy yesterday too bad. I watch you on life. Anything you do, as not of God, may God take that food in there for your head. I say, "Well." 
I have a daughter here. <laughs> they won't roll. I want to see you. I want to see you, please. I want to see you. I really want to see you. Some of you, you have to do that one. May God take that fruit in there from your ear. Say, Amen. <laughs> I, I laugh ha in my office yesterday. I was laughing. Ha! I say, hey, what kind of muzo? She can preach. <laughs> I like, no, who looking for? <laughs> Lord, leave me, man, Lord. You know, we have a generation of chair people in you. You want that chair. When you get your spirit, your spirit will talk. Your spirit not talk. They will come stay near you. When spirit fall on you, oh, what are that dead? What are that was so powerful? When spirit fall, you will carry you outside, put you in one corner. <laughs> then listen. They give you three minutes. When you want to do it, <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Stop that. When you go fire, you stop that. <laughs> no, be patient. <laughs> no, be listening to you. Then you go, yeah, 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 yeah. They won't talk. They get you three minutes. When our spirit can get message, our spirit, I'm talking in the When all the ends the they pull you in, you'll be in our ends. Yeah, so. Hello. I remember my people in the chair. In the chair? The chair better now. The chair was so funny. So funny. On the, no matter your gear. <laughs> yeah, before last fast and prayer. Yeah, before last fast and prayer. We have a wonderful service. So God spoke. <laughs> God was speaking in the service. Scatter. It was their service. <laughs> so I will, the people in the I will call them here. I will call them here. Today. I will call them here. So the Lord spoke in the service. <laughs> so one sister then doing that time. Because you know what? Every fast and prayer, new prophet can come. And, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm all of them. I get my own prophet there. I get my own cell. Let us see now, right now. There. I'm my own there. Now, one is it Jesus here? I know scripture Jesus here. My own there. Now, you get out. Now, me get out. I'm my own there. But, <laughs> and, 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 I'm a self in spirit. I pray, oh, I get small message. If I be where I grew you. <laughs> They found one of the person, one, fool, fool, fool. All of them. Uh, who? One, that did that girl. Two, that Josephine Fala. Josephine Fala, Josephine Fala, a master planner. She collect the woman. The one man, Jackie Horse. <laughs> Josephine sat down, spread out, four, you see, yeah, three back, three back, three, three back, three tire. <laughs> so, shut up there, shut up there, listen. At that time, I know I used to go to the bathroom there to my Jackie house. So then now I come in the bathroom. Service were ongoing. They check their own prophet. They, they carry her and pour her in my Jackie all the room. All of them fooled and fooled and they. I get about the ear. I know the chair good. The chair. The chair. You won't be here, Pastor, for the chair. You better come and get on the way again. I beg you, yeah. Everybody, yeah, clear. So, I'm talking about when I'm going to have regard for you. No, the people I caught you, I get regard for you. But I just won't let you know so I can remind you way better. I saw you that day. So, the prophet started speaking. You, the Lord said, then the master planner started asking. <laughs> yeah, yes, Lord. <laughs> I said, they want fully. They want. 
when you see her, when you see her with my girlfriend, today not today, today not today, oh. Not so much better dragging out one out there. Four or six, you're all here today. You're definitely what you were here. So I push the door. I spy, I hope your heart. Let me get outside here. I fall. The whole hour heart. In less than 30 seconds. Everybody's coming outside with a prophecy. They came outside at the back of the house. They met one of one again. They lost it. 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 She came down with it. They lost it. They lost it. They lost it. They look out for long. They lost it. What did you? The only spirit can talk. So we leave you. Clap your hand for Jesus. Amen. Clap your hand for Jesus. Say, Lord, make me an independent woman. Are you here? If you are here, say, I hear you. Again, say, I hear you. It's good to depend on people. We rely on other people. We, lead, we use people to lean when things get tough. Don't get me wrong. But to really rely on people, no. No, 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 no. Be determined. Be determined. Be determined. Be determined. It, it, it just asks you to be really focused. Focus on the tax you have. It helps you a lot. Focus on the tax that you have. It helps you a lot. I'm going to stop here by the grace of God. I want you to write this thing down. Fear God. Write it down. Be forgiving and malice free. Write it down. Have a forgiving heart. Be forgiving and malice free. Anyone that is forgiving and malice free it is very difficult to be stranded in life. Always be forgiving and malice free. Stop keeping wrong and bad intention in your heart for other people. Don't let other people's success offend you. When God left them, you got to be grateful for them. Tell you feel like that. You forced to say I'm grateful for you. But learn to have a plain heart. A plain heart is better than a hard effort. If you have a plain heart, then you minimize your effort. Because God bless you by the channel of your heart. Forget and forgo malice. Be malice free. Having something kept in your heart for years, for other people, for someone, you know, you'll be suffocating yourself. Leave relationship door open. Leave relationship doors open. In Africa, as soon as we get through with love, no more relationship. Love is not relationship. Don't get me wrong. Leave relationship door open. Because the hand that assists you today, don't cut it. Because you still going. You might need it tomorrow. No matter what you see in life, in the lives of people, no matter what it do to you, a better ought to cut off communication than to abuse communication. When you tire with people, stop talking to them. Don't use confession to stop the talking. Don't close destiny doors. Leave relationship doors open. The relationship between you and the father of your children, leave that door open. Your children will benefit. But if he allow your emotion to take full control, you will suppress your children. You will get the men running and running and running. You will be wasting your time. A lot of you goes to court. A lot of you go to women and children. It's very easy. A new wisdom. To go to women and children, a lot of effort and energy. A lot of time. How long women and children will constrain that man for? So, it, it may you care to women and children, it should be me all conscious. Though. Some people are conscious of nothing. When women and children say, I will sit down. When women and children say, Go inside for three hours, I will go there. Say, Oh, but I'll go inside, I will go there. Women and children say, And I will feed the child. I will go there. Women and children say, okay, you know I've been with your step up for you say, take it. You may not get conscience. So what do you do? When you don't have a relationship anymore, struggle for the friendship for the sake of the child. You ain't got to do a one thing. Somebody you know that relationship going between you all, stop calling and checking on them. So it can cause problem. So leave relationship door open. Your, 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 your today relationship will be your future key. Yes. The man you left today will be the head doctor for the hospital. And because you are busy when you left him, they brought you sick. He can't treat you. Learn, don't learn 
emotion to put people out of your life. You got to be very emotional control. I'm telling you. I want to keep, I'm telling you, I had a lot of emphasis on that and I want you to rather keep it serious. Do everything you can. It, matter, it doesn't matter what happened between you and people. Hey, some of us. I wish we could have the opportunity to go tell people what other people did to us. Or the thing we passed through the hands of people. Or how we call them and we plow them back. Sometimes people call you and they abuse you. Don't reply them. Don't reply them for tomorrow because you sound better than them. Before they catch that thought, you already think ahead of them. One day they will come to themselves and say, oh, if I knew, I wouldn't have caused you. Life is very short. Life is so embarrassing. If your husband is an immigration man and you are the bowler, you want to cross. And you break away from him three years, we have a cousin. <laughs> it's so sad that your <laughs> it's so sad to say, I said it and I love it myself. It's sad to understand that if your child girlfriend becomes the commander in chief of AFL. And at the end of the day, you bug around. And they bring all of you. And they come and pull you down. She come outside. And she see you. You, she who could be the one that free you. Because of that relationship, you can learn, You see, learn to keep relationship not because people right. Don't keep it because they're right. Or you're afraid of them. Have a thought. I can tell you every day when you get chai, when you get chai, sorry, it's an instant, it's a parable, right? When you get chai, you ain't wish. When you get chai, it's like you in glass, you in glass house. Don't throw stone. You go when they throw stone at you. Leave relationship doors open between you and the next door neighbor. You move on that neighbor who. You move from that way. Happy plow. Am I right? Are you sure? Are you sure? If you're yes, say I hear you. I hear you. We're talking life matter, yo. Life. Life. Leave relationship doors open. Learn to leave relationship doors open. Learn to leave. Life is funny. Today, like you get it. Tomorrow, anybody can lose it. I'm telling you. Life is so funny. I'm telling you. When you get it, don't disrupt. Don't abuse. Don't talk to people anyhow because you get it. Don't use your getting it to overshadow them. No. Leave life that turn by turn. When you get it, like your turn. If it is your turn, somebody else waiting in queue. At the bank, they don't serve everybody at the same time. They serve you one at a time. When the pressing time comes, the help you give to them. They will say, oh, that John Cherry, oh, that Musu Dollar, yo. Oh. There are some people living in America today. They are living in America from the assistance that their parents give to other people. Oh, you hear you stranded? You in foreign land? Can let me take you in because your mother won't take me in. This generation now is hard to find. Very hard to find. Leave relationship doors open. Anybody send you insulting texts. To conclude relationship, don't respond to the text. It doesn't mean you are lazy or you're scared of them. Leave it like that. Because you are a future-minded person. I'm not somebody here. If I hear say I hear you. Listen, don't man human being. Don't take their words. Me, I can never beg you. They tell are begging me that. They go to court. They forget to understand the levy five years ago. He not the law. He become a lawyer. They go to court. The defense lawyer that came was the person. <laughs> He's a prosecutor lawyer. But he said he can never beg him. He said, when are they signing your case? You know, they hang you. They spare you. Then they leave you with him. After five years making a statement. Then you look at faith for long. Then your words scare you back. I can never beg you. But for you, whenever I will beg you. <laughs> so I beg you. Please, I beg. Life is very funny. Life is very funny. Life is very, life is very, life is very easy to live. Very easy to live. Don't 
let another, you see, the man say, okay, you know why? Tell him, say, as well as the Facebook generation now, go on live and tell him you found your ball. Then you come on live. Wait now. You think that with all you are not coming make it? You know why I get better than you? Eh? You know, but you will see, you will feel me share the life. Then they saved the life. You know, Facebook will save the life. After many years, the life will come and start speaking. Some people get into a new life. They use that place and they just throw in talk somewhere else. Throw in insult. Listen to me. You are done, you are done. But keep quiet. Some people keep quiet. Some people keep quiet. So I sit back and say, wow. I wish God can confuse the man and get it out. And just close the whole out. You got people go on it. You see, you see, you see all the people. I can't reply. Legitimate. Legitimate. Let me reply you. So you will know that I stupid more than you. These days where as soon as you put your phone down, the children won't take it. They get time. No children conscience. No nothing. We are gone. All of people. Just because the opportunity to see the Western world, they lost conscience. They lost break completely. They can say anything. They can just talk anyhow. Apostle Groman, get a lot of followers. Then I take my phone. Anybody who won't see me alive, they will die. Anybody who fighting against me, anybody who want to see me dressing or bluffing, I'm like, every minute you just send it, you just send it. Envy your post, throwing talk, using Facebook as an excuse, making comment, negative comment. Oh, what are you? He thinks, say, when you are coming, leave me the children, I'm coming, survive. You'll survive. I don't want you to go to the jet time, you just spend three months. You want to make your food, then start conking your head, you won't be a human being. Human being and human being, leave doors open. Leave doors open. Oh, don't close relationship door. Are you here? A fruitful person always make sure they leave doors open. Anything can happen at any time, and that's it. <laughs> you know, you know, Fina. Yeah, I know Fina. I want to reach out to her, man. Somebody give me something to give to her. I've been checking for her for long. And the person been checking the mistake they made. Not Fina, any made a fan. He said, We've been checking. I said, Fina. Say, Fina. <laughs> so, you won't waste your time. Fina. I will do the person just closely. They tell you, Fan. Close your whole door. When you say, Wow. Are you killing me? Is it how she really is? I'm lying to you. Person just cut up. Key opportunity. And that's the end of you. It minimizes our struggle. So a fruitful woman must possess those characters. Called the character. The character of open those relationships. Keep relationship open up. And on and on and on and on. And God, who being God, will cause us at least to prosper in everything we do. Life is just journey. Because you meet people by the way. If you block the relationship, the next person you meet to help you get to the next stage. You refuse. Because you close the door. You do, 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 do. I want you to stand up on your feet. Stand. Are you here? Listen to me. Look up here. Mothers, sisters, family of Wolomi. Listen to this. Many years ago, I used to get help from a sister I used to know. Many years ago. Very helpful. She was very helpful to me. I can remember then. So, a sudden, the parents had issues. Parents had issues. 
One day, I was home. And the mother walked to me. She hold my shirt at the door. <laughs> People were there. Hey, my shirt. Up to today, I still get the mark, the nails mark on my chest. Yeah. She said, I'm going to bring the death. She gave me words. She gave me terrible words. It was, I can remember them, but I'm not keeping them. I'm done with them ever since. But when I reflect, I can remember them. But now something to talk about. She started saying things. Because at that time, they were privileged family. We were four, one or two things. I was still my brother. To eat was hard. So the child would come sometimes. She gave her food. She helped us. She was a very good friend of mine. But the parents was a very serious problem. They called the pastor. They called the pastor again. He said, oh, okay, oh, there's a young man in there. Go warn him concerning our daughter. And what about this, that, or else we'll kill him. So, yes. The same for me, I went there. I sat in front of the pastor. He gave me words. I'm telling you something almost, let's say, because I was 25 years old when I met God. So almost 16, 17 years ago. 16, 17, 18 years ago, 20 years ago. Let's just say it that way. 20 years ago. So he insulted me. And he called me in second, some kind of name. That identical time. Because he was a pastor for the church. And the people, the family wanted to come to be the family of the church. So he said things to me. And he said, okay. From today one will see you being our daughter anymore. So I had a heart and I had a word in my ear one thing I will always appreciate the lady went and shared her reflection with the girl father and the girl father said okay if it is somebody she want to be around if you want the child to be good the child come of age you want to be around the person well no problem so the father advised the woman said oh her dead body she said things again the words and whatever so the girl ran away from the house she left they couldn't find the girl. So they came back to me. They said, I'm open the girl. I should call the girl number. And the girl will come. And the father came to me and said, so it, it was true. And I called the girl. She came. I said, go home. She went home. So when the mother got to know that, she kept saying words. So in three months, I had a vision. In the next three months, I had a calling. When I had a calling, One year, the calling started getting serious. Two years, the calling got stronger. Three years, it got stronger. Four years, it got more stronger. I was preaching one day in, in New Jersey Estate. I was doing deliverance. I was doing deliverance. I was passing, putting water on the people and praying for them. And I get to the lady us listen to me. Jealousy, I like your quietness. I got to her. In the church, she was way upstairs at the last seat at the back. So when I did my hand like this on the person, the manifested when they came through the weave, so I identified it was an old lady who caught me, told me I was involved, for her daughter abused me, what about this, that? See, the only thing to me impossible, everything possible that she could do. So, I identified her and she said she wanted to see me. So, after service, I told the children, tell her to wait. She waited for the sake of the girl because she was dying now, but for the sake of the friendship of that girl. And now, here is a mother, and that is how many years now? Almost, let's say, 10 years gone. So, what is my testimony? As I speak to you, I became a person like when I, when I, when I started growing the faith. Even the man, the pastor who spoke to me in the name of pastor because the family was supporting the church. Today, they started the God business ever since. They just in one corner struggling. They're nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. I came, he was a pastor, I was not a pastor, melting as a pastor, Papa, he has a pastor, lean there as a pastor. You think we don't know who they got pastor? Black hat, 
What am I? I hope he just lived my little testimony. At the end of the day, she met me in the office. She said, one minute, my son. She said, forgive me. She said, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. God can use you. Then she began to share her spirit. The thing I fed from your hand. I haven't fed it before. God can use you. God can use you. You know what God did? God afflicted that woman. Brought her on my hand. Listen, I lay hands on all the affliction jump out. She got hold. She couldn't feel the thing anymore. Not at all. So, God explained who is man to say a thing and it come to pass. Who is the man here that have who, who is the man here that have full charge all your destiny? Somebody shall say nobody. Who can determine you becoming fruitful or you not becoming fruitful? Nobody. Only who? Oh God. If I was a regular person, she want to talk to me every day. I'm talking about the mother every day. But that relationship for that girl, it will always give room to that deliverance. Leave your hands or whatever you are. Everywhere you are in the service, we are dealing with what? Fruitfulness. I will keep it long because tonight is prophetic. Fruitfulness. Fruitfulness in the sense, if you are here, and if there is anyone you are responsible for any form of pain, it can stop your growth. I'm telling you, I'm a man of God, I'm telling you, yeah, we came here to build you up, not to get anybody excited and emotional. To bear fruit, you must understand that you kill other people from bearing fruit. If you destroy the fruit of someone else, you can bear fruit. Are you hear what I'm saying? Am I not somebody yet? Don't look for the person. Just say after me, say Lord. Say newly or unnewly. Anyone I have offended over the past, I may not remember it, I may not know them. Lord, forgive me that I have mercy. Open your mouth and turn it to prayers. Forgive me that I have mercy. Forgive me that I have mercy. In Jesus' name. Let me advise you. Is there anyone you know that they are of intelligence or you reproach them you make the person shame publicly you embarrass them publicly today you are the reason why they cannot lift up their head no matter the effort you made in life you won't produce nothing because you have killed another life when you destroy a person you are destroying a branch or a fruit or a, a, a tree from producing a fruit. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Every day in the church, I tell you when people come down, you don't participate. Don't sit down in a gathering that has to do with destroying someone. They are planning to destroy someone and you are part of it. You are sitting there and you are having a discussion. If you sit in the place where they are planning to destroy someone, when you finish playing, you care your children. You care your children, and in this life, don't have nothing. We pray the prayer. Say, Lord, say, Lord, anyone in this life that I have been the reasons for their disgrace, say, Lord, have mercy on me. Open your mouth. That prayer, that prayer, one minute. Please, that prayer, that prayer, prayer, that prayer. Shaka barato sata. Hey, have mercy. Ask God for 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 mercy. In Jesus.
Jesus name. I don't know, but listen to me. Let me tell you relevant things. Listen, let's take this prayer. Now, if someone was doing well, they were dressing, they could feel themselves, they could afford their rent, they could do well in life. And then all of a sudden, you come out, you become a hey man. Then you start manipulating the person. Okay. You destroy the person's image to all the people that were helping them. You cause pain for that person. So that they have fell from up and come down. When you go and see them, sitting, they can no longer feed themselves. They are wrecking up. They are dirty. They are struggling. And it is you that is the cause. What are your achievements? What are your joy? What are your celebration? What are your happiness? If you want to do well, don't destroy other people from doing well. No. 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 To do well is to always I mean, enhance other people, strengthen them. So you will pray. Listen to me, oh. Listen to me, oh. Listen to me, oh. You will pray this afternoon. Anyone who your hand is involved in whatever happening to them in this life, Lord, forgive me. We are taking it for a joke. When God threatens you for someone, no pastor is anointed to deliver you. No. No. Someone who could feed himself, they can feed themselves again. They can't get close to where? They can't eat because everybody hates them because of you. You are made publicity to everyone. You make everybody feeling bad about them. Today they are very light and lost human value. They are choosing death as a choice. And you are still alive celebrating? No. Newly or unnewly, leave your hands on the father. Mm -mm, say father. Whoever damn for and responsible for, I confess openly. Lord, have mercy on me. Open your mouth and turn it to prayers. Turn it to prayers. Whoever damn for and responsible for. Shoot, do, 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 do. Whoever damn for and responsible for. Nule or nule. Anything I did in the past. Whatever I did two years ago. Three years ago. Four years ago. Lord, have mercy on me. In the name of Jesus. I said in the name of Jesus. I said in the name of Jesus. Give me your two hands whatever you are. If you are in this service. If you are in this service. And you are part of the fruitful woman. Jerry Lanson said don't rush. We want to join you. We want to join you where we pray the prayer and God do the answer. At which I'm the one to answer the prayer. No. Or to make you fruitful. No. But if we're going to depend on God for fruitfulness. We must hit the red target. We can avoid the red target. And do the negative thing. We'll be lottering around like the children of Israel. I pray for each and every one of you here today. If I hear your amen. God shall open up your womb. And no matter your amen for God shall open up your womb. God shall bless you in every aspect. In the name of the fruitful women. I hear this clearly. Oh, shall please help the people. Elsha, help them, please. Give them a hand. Close our gate. Close our gate. Close our gate. Just leave, leave everything there. Like Listen. I hear this very clearly. Say, Father. I am innocent in people problem. Whoever that take me as a project that suppressing me from developing. Lord, 
Let my innocence speak for me. Le prenant nos prières. Well, who can Abel King? Who the king do? King did nothing, but Abel killed King. But King innocent blood begin to speak. You did nothing, but they choose to tie you. You did nothing to no one. You love everybody in the family. You are a family lover. You die for your family. You put your life on the line for your brothers and sisters. All you want to see is the best for them. The best for your auntie. The best for your mom. The best for your stepfather. The best for your father. The best for people. But all they have to pay you back is with affliction. But today I pray your innocence will fight for you. It will speak for you. It will fight for you. Whoever doing you like this, whoever responsible for what is going on, if I hear your amen, God will fight them back. I said, God will fight them back. He 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 will fight them back. Father, help them. Yes, that is what happened here. That's what happening here. That's what happening here. All of you are under the sound of my voice. My right, my left. Your innocence, it will speak for you. It will speak for you. You didn't hurt that man, but that man hurt you. You never hurt that woman, but that woman hurt you. When you say you left her with God, they thought it's a joking statement. But God is about to react on your behalf. Hey, 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 hey. He's about to react on your behalf. He's about to react. Help that woman there. He's about to react on your behalf. I see 500 of you in this prophetic service between now to the end of this day. You will hear reaction. Reaction in the coven. Reaction in your family house. Reaction in the dark wall. There are going to be reaction everywhere. Reaction in your body. Reaction in your family. Reaction in your destiny. God will retaliate. God will revenge. God will show up. God will act on your behalf. God will deliver you. God will break you out of it. One prayer I pray this morning or this afternoon, Father, we act on behalf of your daughter. Number one, number two, number three. From the blue to the yellow. From the yellow to the white. White to orange. Orange to green. Father, begin to react in your life. That sickness that reacting against you. That pain that reacting against you. That trouble that reacting against you. The Holy Ghost is reacting now. Some of you here, yeah, they are fretting you for your land. They are fretting you for your position. They are fretting you for your job. They are fretting you for your own, for your marriage, for your relationship. But God is about to fight for you. I deplore the host of angels. He shall battle them for you. All those that threaten you, they shall not fight you again. God will react for you. I pray for someone yet today, between now to the end of the service. God will stand on your behalf. He will break that yoke from your shoulder. The weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every dragon that deposited in your body, every affliction, every power surrounding you to eat your money, to waste your effort, to frustrate your destiny. They are wasted for your sake. Every grandma, every grandpa, in possession of witchcraft power, diabolical power, evil power, demonic power, affecting your destiny, chasing after your future, for your best day, they are wasted today. I speak to you in the atmosphere, from the crown of your hair, to the source of your feet, every mask, every veil, that they place on your face, that is that is hiding you from your helper, preventing you from your destiny. I declare one, two, three, four. The field catch fire, it 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 catch fire. Oh, 
send you to your helpers they will face the consequences I decree and I declare everywhere you are placed under demonic oppression that no matter what you do nothing will show no matter what you do nothing will happen I, 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 my name is Apostle Abraham Abu Kroman I use the Abraham God said he make me father to nation I stand as a father to this commission to this dispensation to this generation I make proclamation I make pronouncement I make decree for I shall decree a thing for it shall be established that mean whatever I'm saying to you in the next two hours you will experience it all those of you that are going through financial crisis in the next two hours financial door will open to you I feel power here financial door will open up to you people will open up to you people will open up to you everywhere they forgot you everywhere they add that they see you everywhere they deny you everywhere they look down on you everywhere they are attacking you today they shall remember you they shall remember you they shall remember you all wallow means as I speak you begin to put your hands on your hair because a sower went to sow he saw the sea so sea fell I'm, 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 I'm making declaration I'm sowing seed over your hair in your life in the next few days I decree I declare that those who say you just as nothing came from out of your mother nothing came from out of your father he lived but he couldn't do nothing for himself she lived but she did not do nothing for herself child of God I come with the prophetic utterance I come with the prophetic audacity I come with the prophetic boldness with the prophetic lionic oil and the pronouncement in the atmosphere and the auto threatening your growth and the auto threatening your development and the auto threatening your upliftment and the auto threatening your improvement today for your sake they catch fire <laughs> I said the cash fire. I said the cash fire. I said the cash fire. 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 Cast fire, fear in your village. They cast fire in your family house. They cast fire in your mother house. They cast fire in your father house. They cast fire. They cast fire. They cast fire. They cast fire. Fire. They cast 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 You will be in your body. Troubled by any affliction. That affliction is leaving you now. It's leaving you now. It's leaving you now. It's leaving you now. I declare you are here. From the crown of your head to the sword of your feet, you are healed, you are delivered, you are free. The bond is broken now. Woo. Something is happening. Something is happening. Don't look so, don't look so. This is your moment. This is your time. Spirit of the living God. Blessings. Thank you. Blessings. 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 